Chancho versus Pokemon Trainer. Go first. You don't have to report anymore, so you're good. Uh, no recording for now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Okay, let's see get comfortable here. Looks like we have a good old fashioned Pokemon battle here. We have Pokemon Trainer versus uh, Fort Defense's Pichu. Little punching bag who's able to be knocked out in a uh, very low percentage. Yeah, Chancho. Chancho. I miss Chancho's uh, Mario. Mario Cat. Yeah, I knew it was Chancho. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be uh, Krillin Dude's gonna be joining me in commentating here. All right, so uh, all right, 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 right now, Krillin Dude, we have uh, Chancho, Chacho, <laughs> Chancho Fang. leading the match right now. He just knocked out, yeah. knocked out Peach. Who's Fang? I heard some people talking about this guy right earlier, but I don't know who he is. But it looks okay. like he plays a mean Pichu, but well, he's a Pichu, so right away that tells you he's dangerous. I know, right? I mean, but. <laughs> Chacho, the Pokemon trainer himself, is coming out with the Ivysaur. He's already a soccer hit, but Pichu, it won't take long for him to take the stock. But that's like one of the weaknesses of Pichu. As he tries to like close the stock, he takes more and more damage to himself. I see. So he has to be really tactical. You know, but uh, you know that damage he takes is so little, and uh, it's, it doesn't really matter, man. It's just kind of like you know, Pichu is going to take a lot of damage, but he's still going to end up winning in the end yeah that's true after a certain time like after like 90 it doesn't really matter because mm -hmm. he's gonna die either way either way yeah exactly yeah. so uh you know nothing to lose everything to gain oh my uh, god that up smash killed he was at 70. <laughs> <laughs> chancho is at ki uh, kill percentage technically right now i man. know i feel like he's coming for the back throw oh never mind it's not he's out of the percentage okay Right now, oh. it seems uh, Fang is uh, a little panicking a little. He's trying to look for an opening yeah. as uh, quickly as he can. Oh my god, I have to kill from the center of the stage. But here comes a Squirtle. Let's go. Squirtle. All right. I see, like, right now it's scary. In order for Fang to make this comeback, he needs to not damage himself as much. But. Oh my god, the Pokemon. I switched over to Ivysaur. I, you know, Squirtle's used for just piling up, piling up that damage. Mm -hmm. But uh, we saw that that wasn't working for Chacho right away, so we had to switch over to Ivysaur. Mm -hmm. Also, Squirtle's really small, so it's also really good when you're like at zero, mm -hmm. so that you could avoid like stuff like that. But Pichu's also small. Oh my god, that almost killed! He was at 60 and he almost killed! Uh oh. I feel the Flare Blitz coming. The Chacho special. Okay, but. That was a nice aerial, but that up, up special did it, yep. and that's one win for Chacho. Two, one two. zero. Yep, yep. One. I know it's Chacho, but you know what? I'm start calling him Chancho. I think that's a better name. Chancho or Chacho? <laughs> no, it's Chacho. <laughs> that's that's funny. Yeah, they, they always Chacho spell the names Instagram here at the in the brackets. All right. If you were this Pichu guy, Fang, where would you take Chancho? Hmm. I would take, if I was Pichu, I would go somewhere that has no platforms. Because you want to go down, you want to do a lot of those like down airs. You, know, you want to headbutt the, headbutt, the, headbutt the hell out of all your opponents. True, true. But then again, you know, I think that's Pichu's biggest weakness. Because um, they telegraph it sometimes when they're, when they're going to do that. Yeah. I feel like that's one of Pichu's biggest weaknesses too. Like, he not only does he die early, but he like you know, helps himself die early. <laughs> so he needs to not mess around and kill the opponent as with as little moves as possible. Mm -hmm. but, but Pichu mains have gotten pretty good at that thanks to like the backer loops, the uh, the off stage kills. Yeah, right now they're just nickel and diming each other for damage. Uh, they still haven't done anything really big. They're both kind of equally tied at the moment. 65, 75, more yeah. or less. But Chacho went for that up D right now. You think it'll kill? 
I think that up he will kill. not kill. No way. Well, well, he's Charizard now, so maybe. I don't now know. Now his up to will kill. All, all you need is that side special, uh, whatever that's called. And that's it, man. Flare Blades. Or the up B. Oh, the tipper back here, and he the Squirtle's out. Squirtle's out. Yep. Oh, reading the roll, but mm -hmm. didn't kill. There you go. He's uh, Squirtle again. Squirtle will use again okay. for to pile on that damage. He's a, you're just able to, to, to uh, string those aerials together. Just back air, back air, back air. And that works really well. Yeah, but he, Pichu's so small. He's not really going for that. See, he fell mm -hmm. out of the back air right there. That is it's true. It's really weird for Squirtle to combo. Oh, the super armor of the shell coming through. Chacho's like, nah, I'm done with this. Oh! Up air. That almost killed. One more upper should kill. Oh, F tilt? That's not going to do it. Almost. Okay, I feel like that's what Fang hasn't been doing, thundering off stage. Up here to thunder is a really good confirm that I don't think he's been doing a lot. Okay, he's in the air. He's going for the up smash kills. Oh, but he nicks him with the F smash. Barely that's all he killed. Needed. Although he is at that critical damage point right now, 107 points of damage. Oh, Charizard nearly killed himself right there. But he I know, if I smash 4, he would have died probably. Alright, but he's waiting, looking for that up B. Pichu starts comboing, and there and smash, yep. and the Squirtle comes out. Charizard is just too strong, man. I don't care about that that rock smash that is gone. It doesn't matter. He's too strong. I know. It really is, dude. <laughs> All right, here comes. Down throw into nothing. See, Pichu's too small. He went for the fair. That works on any character, but Pichu just jumped out of it. It's really like a awkward to combo Pichu. You have to like com practice specific Pichu-only combos in order to effectively beat this character. Hmm. That's why Chacho's been opting more for the Ivysaur, because Ivysaur doesn't really need to combo much, can he kills early. Oh, up smash, here comes Ivysaur. Here comes the uh, Razor Leaves. Oh, Pichu Ooh, once again at a kill percentage, and that up uh, up special, right? Yeah. Up. A special did it in, and that's it. That was the up smash, Chacho. actually. He read that the Pichu would <laughs> land on him, and he up smash. All right, uh, first ra uh, first match of the day on the stream goes to Chacho, uh, regular here. Very nice guy, super tall. Super tall, man. Super tall, man. Has a beard, has a beard like Wolverine. Good job. And, and I see his choice of Pokemon trainer is a female that has been out in the sun too long. True, true. Too long. <laughs> Have you ever thought about hey, waifu. to stream? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't tried How's it. Going, I haven't been meaning to. Yeah, I'll get you some of the software so that way we can have that scoreboard thing. Like it updates automatically and it's super cool. And it's a Streamlabs only thing. And it also has a chat on the side too, so you don't have to have this open. We only have one viewer right now. Hello, Shout one out viewer, to that one that viewer. Is, it might be just us. Cool. If, uh, if anyone is there, I'd appreciate if you just say, uh, give a little wave and say hello. Let us know you're alive and we'll give, out a, we'll give a shout out to you here from Sunshine. I apologize, sorry about that. <laughs> kind of in the way. In the way. Indeed. <laughs> Alright. We got next. Mm. Alex, stream setup is open. The stream setup's One, open. Two, three, four, five, six. Right here in uh I mean we need to have a queue on streams. I'll be back. We need to have what now? A queue. Uh, yeah, we have a stream setup. Magic Mike and Rose? Oh shit, where are they? Damn, they're already playing, dude? We have Rose and Magic Mike coming up next on stream. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Alright, let me get the. I feel like this first. match could go either way, honestly. Honestly, you're right. It could go either way. Yeah, I think we, they called you. Guys. Right. So you guys will be next on stream. We have Magic Mike coming in with his entourage, sporting a very sharp uh, friend shirt. He's here to kick some butt. Alright, wait, I wanna see who's player Y. Who's player Y? Uh, I guess Rose is. 
And number two, obviously, Magic Mike. Yeah, with the scoreboard, you could just put reset and reset. Okay. All right, here we go. Some here we nice go. ass round AOS. One. Actually, this is round two. Change that real fast. I'm ready to see some uh, some uh, upsets. All right, some special upbeat. moves just like that. I know, and some quick deaths. So up tilt to up B. Who said Bale's up tilt didn't work? <laughs> I think I think that was me. Just kidding. Not uh, really. No. All right, here comes a Becker. All right, here he comes. All right, Rose is a, bit of, is a pretty good lead. Oh no. Oh, but oh, no, thanks no, to no. Rose for donating the stock. To Take that stock to the bank. No, we we take those. We take them, man. <laughs> who said Ro who said Bayo uh, can't kill? Oh, what's that? Came right back and said, "I don't think so." Yeah, man. I was like, Not "What was today. that? Up B to side B to side B to down air?" It was up B to side B to death, is what it was. Damn. All right, but here we go. Up air. Oh, I think he jumped. I didn't think he was supposed to jump, so he could get the double up air. But Rose is at 50 right now. But any one conversion will take him back into the. It'll make it even again. All Rose is just one, needs is one up tilt, one up B, one side B. That doesn't trade with DK's massive back. Oh, no, well, they're just they're just playing neutral right now, trying to find that opening. Yeah, but here and comes there it Rose. Is. Rose found one, and he's using it, and he racked up that damage. 83% going up still. I know. And nearly there, he might have gotten it. No, oh, that recovery is yeah. just too powerful, man. All right, here comes. All right. Up side B, so... Uh, but up air, it's Rose, Rose needs to finish the combo with Spacker, otherwise it's not going to kill. Alright, up air, trying to catch this Rose land. Yeah, DK, oh. DK is combo uh, combo food, man. Yeah, I know. But he has that range, He's, uh, Magic Mike isn't using it to his advantage at the moment. But he will. He will. Uh, R Rose is at kill percentage, definitely, especially if you're Donkey Kong. Oh, oh, that was a mistake, and that right. down smash did it for Rose. I know, up smash out of shield, that was really good. Rose hasn't lost a stock yet, technically. He's like, what was that about an SD? What was that about an SD? Oh, well, yeah, man, I completely forgot about yeah. that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Mike hasn't taken a single stock so far. But all that Mike needs right now is just like an up uh, back air. taking that hit and teleporting to the side. It was like watching a Dragon Ball match, man. And he whiffed that grab. Oh, you're taking off for a match? Yep. All right, good luck, Krillin, dude. That is just me currently right now on stream. All right, so uh, Magic Mike got that rose, and he just threw him off the stage. See you later. Currently, Donkey Kong is at 142%. It's that death percentage. We have the everyone here at Sunshine singing the Donkey Kong rap. <laughs> Grant Kirkhope, please do not sue us. All right, Magic Mike, he's got hit again by that grab. Oh, and that's it. All right, the grab did it in, and that's one round to Rose. All right, score set. There it is. All right, first round goes to Rose, and we're good. All right, Magic Mike is uh, thinking of a new strategy to apply. What will he do in this round? All right, Magic Mike switched to Incineroar. I remember in Smash 4, one of the only strategies you could do for uh, Bayonetta was to grab her a lot. And uh, we got a command grabber here. Let's see if, the, if that's the stra this grabbing strategy will work. Alright, Rose is being very aggressive right now. He's getting in there really early and trying to uh, get those combos in. Uh, currently, Rose is still at 0% damage and is just juggling them in the air. At this point, uh, Magic Mike is focusing very deeply on trying to find what to do here. He needs to just cool down, take, a, take his time, wait for that opening, wait for that mistake. He did a up special to recover. Very good job. Good recovery. 
gotta watch out for that uh those, those bullets oh and that up smash did it uh, did him in one stock goes to uh goes to rose Nice grab. Took Bayonetta to 68%. He whiffed the grab right there. And Rose going in again, trying to get those combos, but he got blocked in his uh, side special. All right, Magic Mind right, right now finding his rhythm. And that side special got him a stock, and currently we're kind of tied. We're kind of tied in this round. All right, Magic Mike needs to cool down. He's playing it very safely right now. That's the smartest thing to do, especially against Rose. Just uh, poke, take, find those nickels and dimes. To <laughs> there it is. All right. Currently, Magic Mike is leading in this round, two to one. Now Rose is, uh, has no choice but to rethink his strategy and play the neutral game. Side special to back air to dash, and a couple whiffs. But uh, you know he's taking up that space, saying this is my territory. You're not going to take it. Oh, and that uh, that down special missed, and uh, Rose is taking advantage of it. Grab, and that mm, I'm gonna say about two more grabs should do it in for uh, for Incineroar if you're near the edge. Incineroar uh, responded with another special and uh, hit Rose. Mm. All right, Incineroar playing it safely. Currently, it's anyone's game again. Magic Mike is sitting pretty at zero, well, zero, well, twenty-five percent now. So we have um, all right. anyone's game still at the moment. This thing, this game, ha this game just it happens too quickly for anyone really to react. All right, uh, hype is rising here right now in Sunshine. Rose is juggling uh, Magic Mike in the air. But Magic Mike needs to uh, find that opening. Oh, and that back air did it for Rose, and he claims the round. Two to zero. Good job, Rose. Man, it's a. Uh, I panicked just watching him play. I could only imagine what it's like to uh, to actually play these guys in real life. How's it going, man? Say what? Yes, you can, man. Of course. We have. Uh, what was your name again? Walter. Walter, you're the other Rose main. Uh, <laughs> you're the other Bayonetta main, right? No, oh, Okay, I was thinking someone else. My, my bad. My bad. All right, everyone, welcome Walter to the, to the stream. We have uh, how's it going, man? It's going all right, going all right. Mm. Lost first round to Mike himself, the man, the legend. His Bayo is better than oh, hold people on, think Bayo can beat. Hey, who's playing right now? We have Gilmon and we got Gilmon and, and we got Gilmon. Wait, wait, Gilmon. Yep. And this and this other gentleman, I forgot his name, but he's a, he's a very good player as well. Hey, slow down, guys. Let me write your names here, all right? Oh, wait a bit. I'll tell you when to start, okay? Oh, okay, okay. What, what's his name? What's his name? I think it's fifth, right? Oh, 15. Ah, oh, that's right. That's right. I remember. All right, all right. My bad, my bad. Player so, 10, 15, right? Yep. I think the matchup that we're about to see is DK versus Pichu. We're going to have to see if Fifth can take out the power of heavies in this game and kill Pichu early. Pichu is a very, very strong character, man. And um, once he gets you in, that, in those combos, it's over for you. Especially considering how big and heavy DK is. Yeah. And Pichu already doesn't have trouble killing. It's mm -hmm. going to be hard for the DK. Would I say Pichu has trouble killing? Maybe, maybe, maybe. That down, that down, down A. Oh, they're ready, they're ready. Um, yes, you guys are good. Begin. All right. Yeah, Pichu's down A is pretty strong. Oh, yeah. yeah. All of Pichu's moves are really <laughs> strong. He has no trouble killing. All right, so here we go. The round begins. Already we see Gilmon using great use of the Thunder Troll. Oh yeah, very a very aggressive start right now. Donkey Kong just slapped but him out Donkey of the Kong way. Donkey Kong has a very strong tool. Oh yeah. Say what? Oh. Uh. Oh, my bad. 
So oh, I apologize about the store. Let me fix that. Super armor is up beyond the ground. So we're gonna have to see how well he makes use of it, as long as he doesn't get too, you know, jump the gun on it. Cur currently, they're tied right now. Both bo both at around yep. the same health. We're seeing a very even neutral. Ooh, but that he nearly spiked him right there. He was so close, man. So close. Donkey Kong's, they're right there. Donkey Kong's forward air. That's a forward air, right? That is forward air. That's forward air. That forward air. All right, oh, yeah. Forward Pichu's air spike. Super light. Forward throw will Jeez, spike. That there grab kill. killed Pichu right away, man. That would kill at center stage. <laughs> you know, Donkey Kong in Smash 4 was very good at grabbing. That was like oh, yeah. his best And thing. he's even better now. <laughs> he's even better. Oh, yeah. I think no, once he gets that say, grab yeah. at the ledge, it is <laughs> over. As long as Pichu's not at zero. Mm-hmm. He's so light, he will die to the down cargo throw super early. Yeah, but Pichu's not going to let up, man. Look at that. that very, uh, very good throw. throw. He's, been, thunder. he's been practicing yep. that all time during the friendlies, trying to get the follow-up. People, when he up throws, people will DI left or right. He's trying to read the DI, follow them so he can still hit them with the thunder, which is a kill confirm. Oh, yeah. Not after the up throw, but the down B itself. And it goes to show practice matters, man. That's what separates the good players from the great players. And that's players. exactly what I was talking about. That down cargo throw killing so early with Pichu. Mm -hmm. no and one we, these, we're yeah. seeing the grappling capabilities of DK take out Pichu so early, and it's just given 15 such a good lead right now. Pichu, though, very strong damage output. It's still either way. Mm. Oh, definitely. Um, one, he's one full stock ahead, though, so it's not looking too good for Pichu at it the moment. It is not. No, but anything could happen in this game. All right, all you need is one good combo uh, combo string, and that could be a stock for Pichu. Oh, that's it, though. Such a Ooh, good read darn. on that jump. He knew he was going to jump from mashing out. He got the up air. It didn't kill. Oh, Ooh, that's nice, spot dodge. Nice that spot was so dodge. <laughs> Very good. He Very saw good. it coming. Oh, my goodness. There it is. Okay, that thunder kill, and that's perfect. Now, as long at, as he doesn't die now. Yeah, he's at death percentage. Oh. Oh, but as sure. long as he keeps his cool, keeps his distance, oh, good the downer trade, on the ground. That is not going to matter right now because the first round goes to uh, to 15 here. 15 doing a really good job of keeping Pichu away, making sure he doesn't get combo too much. Mm -hmm. It's he's doing really well. I'm impressed. Now what? Pichu what can I be a hard matchup for heavies. What I think Pichu needs, Gilman needs right now, is just more neutral. Keep your sure. distance. Play slowly. Find those openings. Mm -hmm. I think he definitely needs to be making more use of combos as well. Oh, yeah. His combos are not the strongest at the moment. Not to mention his neutral, as you said. Yeah. I think that more use of Thunder Jolt and use it to push in and grab could be a good option for him. Oh, we're seeing a Ganon come out. Oh, switching to Ganon, eh? I sure do like me again. Ganon, dude. We're going to see. And now here's the thing. is that Ganon, Ganon is Ganon, a man. really hard matchup for Pichu. He's it's a hard matchup for a lot of people, let me tell you that, man. <laughs> oh, and Sunshine here right now. They're flipping out there. You just they're freaking Ganon. out. We are obviously seeing a very a lot of excitement for Ganon, and he's such a good character against Pichu. He may not win neutral often, but he genuinely only needs to win it once or twice, and he will get the kill at 30 or less. Look at that. Ganon, very aggressive, and he that's how he is, man. Just being aggressive all the time. That's how he oh, it. Spartan oops. kick. Kills Pichu. Such a good call get out, out on that platform. recovery. P Pichu right now is panicking. He's trying to find that opening. He lost that round really bad, but he's not going to... Gilman is definitely the shook right now, but he's getting good use of these combos. Mm -hmm. He's not going for edge guards. Ganon's recovery isn't the best. Oh, good nice. call on the roll. Very that good. F smash lasts a long ass time. Just like that, we're tied again. It could be anyone's game. 37 Both points of these of characters damage. very yep. explosive, though. Mm -hmm. And uh, Alex Pull just brought it out with that smash attack. Ooh, Kills so it. early. Full stock lead now. Oh, my goodness. 15 doing such a good job with his Ganon. There you go, Pichu. Gilman's going to have to get some crazy combos to take this back. Drop that combo there right now. Alright, Gilman taking it slow. He's trying to find that opening. He knows, man. The thing is, though, again, his hitboxes are huge. His small size doesn't help as much against those. As 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 All it, it takes is just like characters. a handful of hits from Ganon. A smash attack will kill right now. Both players very focused. 15 really wants that win. Pichu is trying to keep him off the stage, edge guarding the best he can. 
He missed Yo, that down he fails, air. The, he fails the edge guard. That could be crucial. Oh, the Thunder And he gets it. Such a good call out on the recovery. And with Pichu's explosive combo game, this could be over for 15. If he takes good enough advantage. Brought out his sword twice and he missed. Oh, three times. He has to play so careful. He could die right now. Oh, the up air. Oh, I tell you what, Pichu is on a mission right now. He's not going to give up right here. Gilmont is so ready to take this back. Oh. oh! Ganon trying to take out a sword Just again. Just barely canceling that up time. smash. It was oh, oh, there. Yeah, Coming fair. out kill center stage. Let's go 15. Ganon job, absolutely destroys the Pichu. 2-0. Now, I would say that 15 was conditioning uh, Gilmon, thinking that he was going to use that sword yeah. the entire time. He brought it out four times. He did times. such a good job of conditioning yeah. so that he could pull out the big moves when he needed to. 15 doing so well there. Mm -hmm. wow. You'll love to see again and come out in bracket, man. Considering how bad he was in Smash 4, how useless he was in Brawl, and how mediocre he was in Melee, it's awesome to see how well he can do in this game. He is so explosive. Mm. Well, that was a great match to watch. Good job to uh, Gilmon and 15. Uh, especially to 15, he won this. Like, uh, he rarely comes down here to Sunshine, but it's always, a, it's always a treat to watch him play. He's a very good player. Well, where's he from? He's from Juarez, right? Mm -hmm. uh, 15, he's from Juarez, I believe right? he is. Yeah, yeah, he's a very good he player. He does travel often. Oh, and who do we have next? It seems like right, we have... Looks like we got Josh and Omega up. Josh and Omega? Yep. All right, let's set this up here. Josh should be on the left. Josh and So Omega, Omega actually uses a pro controller. Now, we see a lot of, actually, a lot of people who don't even use GameCube controllers here. I, myself, I use a pro controller as well. A pro controller? Mm -hmm. ah. You know, so I regret not getting a pro controller because there's a lot of games that I could use a pro controller with. Right. Yeah. But, you know. Um, and it's got it's got quite some differences from the GameCube controller. The right stick is pretty is just as big as the left stick. You don't have the ridges, the notches like the GameCube controller does, and the sticks don't have analog. Mm -hmm. So it's a little faster on the on the triggers. And we have Blue Electro here from uh, saying hello from. Oh, where is he from? I think he's from Vegas now. He used to be a lo he used to be a regular here at Sunshine. Oh, did he? Yeah, he was a very good player. He taught me how to play Smash Brothers really well. He's a very smart guy. Hey, Blue Electro, welcome to the stream. Uh, say hi more often because uh, you're very insightful. There's no way Ganon is hard for Pichu. Pichu gives him easy. It's true, but it's true. Ganon doesn't need to win neutral that much. Pichu can get an edge guard, but it's so easy for Ganon to kill Pichu. However, now, Gilmon wasn't doing the best with the edge guards in the first place. That's for sure. What would you say, Blue Lecture? If you're still there, what what would you say Gilmon needed to do to win that round? What was he missing? What what did he need to do more of? Biggest things, he dropped combos. He did not go for edge guards. He was I was talking to him earlier before we got here. Yeah. He does not he doesn't go for edge guards too much. He's nervous. He played a lot of Smash 4. Mm -hmm. But usually when he goes for them, they work. They work. But the problem is he doesn't go for them that often. Not only that, but he wasn't getting the he wasn't getting the combos. He was dropping them too often. Now Fifth was doing a good job at DIing out of them. Oh, it looks like we, the match is starting up. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. What, what's going on here? Why is it frozen? Where's my... Give me a minute. Oh, snap. There we go. Okay. Sorry, everyone. Right, sorry about that. starting up. So, surprisingly enough, we're seeing, we're seeing Josh pull out Little Mac. Hold on. There we go. Little Mac, one of the more controversial characters when it comes to this game. So a lot of people say he is easily the worst because of just how easy he is to get. Little Mac. You, you know, and you know, they have a point uh, with that, but you know what? I think Josh is just something else. Josh, Josh is a seriously <laughs> skilled player for one, and I think that Little Mac is really strong off stage. Or on stage. Yes, he gets gimped very easily off stage, as we're seeing now, and Belmont's excelling with ledge traps. But Would you say that... Uh, the Belmont's uh, projectile game is technically supposed to beat uh, Little Mac in this? I think on paper, the, the projectiles would make it very little, very hard for Little Mac to get in. But that's entirely dependent on how well the Belmont player uses the projectiles. Because if they don't mix it up enough, it'll be obvious how the Little Mac can get in. Hmm, I see, I see. 
And that can be said for most matchups. Well, uh, little, uh, little Mac Belmont. <laughs> Belmont is, uh, you know, playing the game is uh, very good, Tech very technical, keeping his distance, using those projectiles. Uh, I, I've, pl I've played Omega before, uh, and he's a very he's a very skilled. Uh, side he, he's come a long way in these past past two months, I'd say. Play smart. Ganon has to commit to. Uh, let me see here, doing hits. That is true. All right, one minute, please. All right, uh, we have you know Josh is Josh seems to. He's, holding his to, own. he's like he's holding his own, but he seems to be having trouble finding an opening here. Especially for a kill here. Oh yeah. That's that's a confirm. That, that's yep. That's that it. down B on the holy water on the Belmonts is such a good confirm into so many things. Uh, most of the time it's gonna be a forward smash. Forward smash, <laughs> forward throw if they're high enough. Oh, two frames nice. the ledge with that down smash. Mac has a very good two frame with his down smash too. It definitely helps him with his on stage presence. His ledge trapping isn't the best. But his, his two frame is good. Little Mac just poking uh, at every chance he can. Jab, jab, going for that down, down jab. Trying to find these confirms. We are seeing a very even game. Josh taking the lead by now. But when it comes to the Belmonts, they chip on that damage. They stay far away. They don't take much sometimes. Whip to cross, whip, then a whip, and a cross. Uh, cross would be his, like, his most important projectile. For sure, especially because Little Mac, his best way to approach, and almost his only Ooh, is from nice. the front. Nice up air, nice up special, uh, Josh. Yep. And so I think the cross is very hard for Little Mac to deal with because Little Mac's best way to approach is by running in. The cross goes straight forward. It can be hard to get past. That is a nice. good up smash coming out. It nice didn't kill smash. somehow. Didn't kill. Maybe I'm not entirely sure how that didn't kill. Very good DI on the Mega's part. Well, for probably it. a soft spot. Uh, sour no, spot. He got the he got the flames. That's the sweet spot. Ah, uh, darn, darn, monster darn. heavier darn. than we thought, man. Right now we're seeing try, we're seeing we're seeing Josh trying to find these da confirms out of doubt. There it kill, is. But the forward tilt very strong. I was gonna say whoever got this stock would be like. In, a, in the most uh, best advantage possible, because these uh, two players are very evenly matched, so you can, you you got to take whatever you can get. And momentum is going to be pretty important, considering just how special these two characters are in terms of this game in general. Belmont's obviously the biggest zoning and ledge trapping. Little Mac being having probably the best rushdown in the game. Uh, I see Belmont is uh, positioning himself to do a, a back air. Yeah, that back air will kill. The down that tilt, down kill. the back tilt will kill anywhere on stage at this point. Oh, nice. A lot of things will kill, but Josh is doing a great job at playing super defensive, seeing every opening and he down takes tilt it, forward takes special. That will kill. Taking it away with a two stock first game. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, what? Oh, one minute. Oh, yes. Alright, the first round went to Josh. Good job. Good job, Josh. Uh, no, I think we're going to be seeing the same characters. Here. A little touch and go there in the beginning. I mean, Josh taking it away very fast with the last stock, though. These two, these two are very focused on their characters. Omega has not played much outside of Richter. I don't know too much about Josh, though. Oh, mm, about Josh? Uh, I would say he is uh, the Goku of uh, Little Mac. <laughs> 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 okay. Excuse me, sorry about that. Well, we all know he's not going to get in the game. Oh, no, no. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Um, oh, nice back air. It looks like we're seeing a lot of the same strategies that we saw last game. Omega definitely with the lead right now. You know, one of the things I notice about playing Omega is that right now, he, he, uh, in the beginning of the match, he does your typical uh, projectile spam, and that works really well, but when he's ready to go for that kill, that's when you begin to see those back airs and forward airs, and 
um, a skilled player such as Josh uh, will be able to you know capitalize on that. And, that was such yeah. a good follow up. He down tilted and jumped onto the platform and read Omega's option for the up smash. Now I think that from a mentality standpoint, the Little Mac might just have the advantage here. Because Little Mac needs to get in. It's the only way he's going to win. He can't give his opponent space. And so I think that with how smart Josh plays, you have to see patterns, and you have to go for any opening you can get. And Josh is doing an amazing job of recognizing what Omega might do and capitalizing on it as best as he can. And I think that the mental game between this matchup is super important. And Josh definitely seems to have the advantage in that respect. We're seeing... How important would you say is mental game in Smash Brothers? In, in Smash, just in general, it's it's one of the biggest parts. I mean, when it... Very good confirm. Didn't kill yet. But there's two major pillars. And that's the mind games, that's the, technical, the technicality. Neither of these characters are especially technical. And that's why I think that the mental games are going to be very prominent in this matchup. Uh, personally, I've never been too good in mind games, personally. <laughs> so it's I definitely something that you have to get used to. Nice. Josh, really, or Omega, very good job with that F smash. But we see Josh with a whole stock lead. And with how strong he's been playing against this Belmont, it's looking rough. We're going to have to see some changes in the way Omega's playing if he wants to take this game. Yeah. Sorry, what? And right now we're seeing Josh with a very strong neutral. Omega is finding trouble to just get hits anymore. This stream is brought to you by Pizza Hut. Excuse me while I, as a vegetarian, break my fast and eat some meats here. Not sponsored. <laughs> okay, not really. <laughs> but Pizza Hut, give me a call. You know, I'd love to. I'd love the sponsor. Mm. We can get some jerseys with Pizza Hut on it. Just Pizza Hut all over the thing. <laughs> now back to the match. Mm, sorry, I'm just like super into this pizza right now. I haven't had meat in like forever. Hey, Blue Electro. Josh has incredible awareness, and both of these characters require great situational knowledge. That's absolutely right. Great way to put it. Down sma reverse hit of down smash taking Omega. Josh running with a 2-0 on Omega. We saw Omega do well in the beginning, but Josh started to very quickly figure out all of his options. Mm -hmm. Everything that he went for. And in the end, Josh two stocked him in the second game. Very good play out of both of them though. Omega has improved a lot and Josh is still just an amazing player in general. Now, Omega, great player. I felt like what happened was Josh was able to like, he, he became aware, like what, what uh, Electro, Electro said right now. Mm -hmm. He became aware of his strategy and was able to plan for it. What I think Omega needs, he needs to maybe add a couple more things to his arsenal. He definitely Not he much. was using a lot of very straightforward options. He was using a lot of cross, a lot of back air, a lot of forward air. There were definitely other options that he could have used there in, in certain situations. Mm. Sorry, pizza so good. Agreed. Uh, forgive me, my vegetarian and vegan friends. I, I'm just really hungry right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could have always taken the meat off. Mm. I could have, but um, you know, I still I still say meat is like um, I don't know. I don't know. Very rarely will I eat a piece of meat. Very rarely. Mm. I consider it a delicacy. Mm. Alright, I think anyway, we are just about ready sorry to for see that piece we on have stream, on stream, but next. I regret nothing. <laughs> so who's next up here? Artificial and Dr. Drew? I believe so. Those might be on a different setup, but I don't see any other setups oh. open right now. Yep. Here we go. Player one. one of the players has stepped up to the stand. Um. No, that's not it. I L. <coughs> Excuse me, Art. 
Artificial. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Dr. Drew? Alright, bear with us as we find out who's going to be playing on stream. I, I believe we were having trouble with the, the bracket earlier. I think something moved everybody out to a separate first round. Alright, so who's playing here? We have Jemdis. You know who you're playing? Say what? Oh, where? Do we have the oh we have the bracket open? Oh, hey. Hmm. All right. Looks like we are. Oh, it's Duck. Okay. This is Duck. So now we have Duck versus Gems. So, finally, after a little while of trying to sort out the bracket, we have Gems versus Duck. Now, Duck, obviously, runner, he's the TO of Sunshine, and he's a very good player. Very good player, man. Uh, very respectable guy. Uh, wow, man. Just so many th great things to say about him. He ha he owns his building. I'm excited he's to see this match. Player. Oh, yeah. He's a nice guy. Jesus Christ, man. Super jealous of him. I'm very <laughs> excited to watch this match because Duck's matches are very hype. And we're sure to see a lot of spectators in the back, too. One minute. Here we go. <coughs> Let's go, Gemdis. Let's go, Duck. Let's go, both players. <laughs> and that joke is Okay, over. so this is an interesting <laughs> matchup. We're seeing Zero Suit versus Incineroar. This isn't something I've seen before, actually. Duck, very good with Zero Suit. Oh, we got a fix oh, score. Whoops, the score. So, Duck is a very good Zero Suit player, but... He's a very aggressive Zero Suit. Indeed. The thing we've seen with Zero Suit throughout the life of this game is that she's very inconsistent. Inconsistent how so? She... It's a very... It's, it's seriously a coin flip when it comes to how she does. She's either going to get bodied or she's going to run away super fast with the game. There's usually not an in-between when it comes to Zero Suit. And that's what we've seen so far from the best Zero Suits. Incineroar, though, a very interesting pick. We actually have quite a few Incineroars here in El Paso. And you love to see them, because Incineroar, is a, is, he's a pretty hype character. And I see Doug going nice in there use very of revenge, cool. and that will... Nice that dose, won't man. kill, but that did a lot of damage. He got buried, I think that's it. Oh, Doug chokes the back air. He thought he was going to mash out faster. Actually... Gets the kill with the neutral B. Now that's, that neutral B is very interesting. It has a lot of priority. And if you hit the sweet spot, it's super strong too. Man, a lot of respect, man. That was just cool to look at, man. That, uh, spinning, it's really funny to see lariat. Darkest <laughs> Lariat is a very interesting move to see hit. Wait, what, what do you call it? It's Darkest Lariat. Oh, okay. I call it Spinning Lariat. Spinning, spinning Lariat. And it's a Lariat. I, I don't know the technical Pokemon name. <laughs> Oh, nice. We're seeing Gem some nice combos coming out from Gems, but Ooh. Duck gets the back air, and it's pretty even considering just how much damage both these characters can do. Of course. Duck, Duck was just feeling his opponent right uh, in the beginning. Yeah, I think he has a good idea yeah, what I to think, do now. Yeah, I think he's definitely, he seems to be a little more confident in the options he's choosing here. Nice. Getting the revenge on the up air. The up air strings aren't as true as they used to be. So we'll have to see how well Gems uses this revenge. Oh, oh no, he doesn't doesn't grab stage. ledge. Didn't be reverse the up B. It happens to the best of us, really, man. Very that now something that I've seen out of the Incineroars from today is that their up B's are very good. When you hit the first the first hit, it sends them really far. It can kill. Whoa, J um, Duck planted him in the ground, but Gem just broke free. Gem's mashing is definitely on point right now. Now uh, Duck ha has him in a nice uh, string attack. And, uh, ooh, he dropped, dropped the combo. Now, I don't think, Gems is not out of this in the slightest, considering 
just how much kill power Incineroar has. He's one of the strongest characters in this game, but the slowest moving as well. Oh, We're not going to see a kill from that. See him right there. That's also a Lariat, by the way. <laughs> Is it? Okay, we got the berry. I think that's it. That's oh, it. I'll be out of the berry. Dude. First round goes to Duck. Quack. Now, coming away Quack. with the two stock, Quack. he definitely Quack. did very well <laughs> in that match. I'm proud, of, I'm proud of Enrique there. Bracket, sure, one minute. Let me give you the bracket website. And copy and... Let's see here. Okay. Whoops. There you go. And paste. There we go. So for anyone watching, if you'd like to see the bracket, we've posted it in the chat. All right, Electro says Enrique should have gotten the fail of the fall with the fail on, on the last side B. B. I believe that Doug did not have jump. Hmm. You know, in the heat of the moment. In the heat of the moment, it can be hard <laughs> to tell, especially considering that jumps are stolen, like, really weird in this game, and sometimes you just can't see that circle. Sometimes there's too much going on, and all you have is indicate for indication of the jump being gone is that circle. But yeah. we have a counter pick to Robin now from Gems, yeah. and this is definitely an interesting character. Because not a lot of people play them, but they have a lot of strong options. But also being one of the slowest moving characters, only slower or only faster than Incineroar now. Very good edge guard coming out from Duck. How's he gonna follow it up? Sends off stage again. Grounds him. This might be it. Nope. We don't. We don't see it. Gems is getting. It, Gems is very good at mixing up when he breaks out of the berries, and that's good because the berries can sometimes just be a free kill. And it's a Duck very safe option. Up, oh, Duck going so deep for that back air. Him right Such a good edge guard. Oh, yeah. Now, that's one of the best things uh, Duck is good at. He's able to combo you off the stage very well and knock you out. His really edge early. guards are very consistent. They are very good. He always knows his limits, and he always gets them. Not to mention his nice. ledge trapping. Oh, he, knew. Good. he knew he would attack. Nair down B. Takes the second stock. Duck is running away with this game. Gems catching that catching that recovery really well with the arc fire. It almost killed super early. That might be it. That's it. Gems takes a stock. Sometimes momentum is all you need. We might see a comeback here. He's gonna have to play really well. But considering just how good Duck's edge guards are, this might be really hard. He's gonna have to play really well to not get knocked off stage. Duck trying to find that opening again to uh, string him in a flurry of attacks. And, oh, he missed that grab. That grab could have oh, been game right there. That, uh, I was going to say dolphin fish. <laughs> uh, dolphin, dolphin fish. fish. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so Wrong in so many ways. Dolphin so fish for 3.0. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the match. Oh, that Elwin somehow catching Duck. Sa it saved gems for sure. It's not over for gems. He lost Levin Sword. He's going to have to wait for a little while. Obviously, Levin Sword on Robin being his best kill option. Getting a lot of confirms out of the specials. The book hit Duck off stage. Levin Sword is back. Gems is going to have to do a good job of taking advantage of the kill power of the Levin Sword and the nice combos air, out of the specials. That was an amazing back air. Ooh, and spot Duck dog. is having trouble oh. finding this edge guard. He SD'd. No, he didn't. Wait a minute. Wait he a knew. Minute. He knew Gems would save him. He knew Gems would save him <laughs> if he used that upbeat. That was so genius. Not like this. Catches it with Not that like upbeat. This. Duck. <laughs> Duck is just. Duck has amazing reaction time. He really does. That is yeah. one of his strongest suits. Is his reaction time. I swear, if I were to if I were to measure Duck's reaction time with like tools, I, I swear he's like above a normal human being. He is. <laughs> I mean, it's what makes him the TO. He is. Without a doubt, one of the best players here. Um, I think we should. I think we should have Duck tested for a uh, I don't know performance enhancing. Jump. I don't know. I feel like we should probably <laughs> check his controller. Make a play with a different GameCube controller. Yeah. Probably put him on a, on a different setup. You know. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Either way, seeing Duck play is such a treat. Hmm? You want to cast? You want to cast? All right. No, I'm alright. I'm just waiting until I'm back on bracket. Did you want to take my spot? Okay. 
<laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, they already started. Oh, they're going real fast. Okay. Who do we have? So we got we have Seba and... Oh, we're seeing a Ganon Ditto. What's your tag? Ganon Ditto. Uh, on, I'll get it right now. Don't ask me. All right. Sebastian. So we've already seen a stock taken. And that is just how Ganon Ditto's work. These Super games fast. go so fast. All right. Score is 0-0. Zero, zero. All right. Sorry about that, everyone. All right. We have a Ganon Ditto here with Sebastian versus uh, Super Size Me. Seba already took a stock. We didn't even see it, but Ganon, Ganon matches go really fast. We see another spike. Oh, the tech off of Down the spike. And that nice was a super good tech. I cannot believe that caught him. If he'd caught it, if he'd released it a little earlier. And there's another Very smash. good read on the air dodge with that up smash. Let's see, uh, force smash. All right. Nice, I predicted that. <laughs> I think you're getting better reads than Seba right now. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna have to see. I'm not. Down I'm studying to, very uh, closely right air. now. Uh, neutral air. I'm sorry. Yeah. So again, actually, he has a couple of surprisingly strong confirms. Like out of down throw at zero percent, that's thirty percent off of one combo, and he can sometimes string it into more nair, which does twenty two if you hit both hits. Hmm. In which is crazy for smash. such a strong or such a fast and big move. Oh, we almost saw a down B, but the tech got him killed. He didn't wall jump off of the tech and lost his stock for it, but oh, Ooh, another down air. Seba dare. taking all three stocks with down air, I believe. He dared to down air him off the platform, man. Wait a minute. What's going this, on? I knew there was something wrong here. This was just a friendly. That was a I friendly. That was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew there was something wrong here. <laughs> they're, they're, play, they're playing too friendly, man. I should have known <laughs> considering it was double Ganon. I know oh, neither of them plays Ganon. That, that was nice to watch, though. Nice little break from all the serious tournament stuff. Ganon Dittos are so much fun to see, just in every game. Well, that was a nice little intermission match that we saw. Uh, How dare they? I cannot believe <laughs> right. they baited us so hard, man. Yeah, man. Where's the TO? Who, who let the who who let them get away with this? <laughs> All right, well that was fun to watch, anyways, man. I knew they were memeing the entire time, man, because it didn't seem serious. Uh, they were going for a lot of a lot of spikes, so. Man, now they now they got me feeling like playing a game, man. I want to play a game. I've just been sitting here for a, for a while now. But, uh, uh, hey, Richard, uh, are you going to play right now? This is real, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, great. Coming up, we have Richard, which is Glitchberg. Uh, how do you spell Glitchberg? G-L-Y. What? It's not a Y with, instead of an I? Okay. Glitch. Berg. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's yeah, check let's, bracket. Let's check the bracket here. Who do we have? I believe this is round three. All right, looks like we have... Uh, Fermit. Oh, okay, Fermit. So Fermit's a yes. DDD player. Oh, he's a very good DDD player. Indeed. Triple D. Wait a minute, looks like we got Rose here. Okay, well... I uh, guess not. So it looks like we don't have Fermit versus Glitchberg. We have Rose. Hmm. Do we have Rose and um, Electro? Electro, yeah. Yeah, he's there. He's watching us. Saying hello. All right, looks like we got Rose versus Tactician. Rose versus Tactician. Now these, I like these players. I like both of them. Yeah, I like him as a friend. <laughs> Rose makes Rose makes Bale look good in this game. Sometimes. Only no. sometimes. No, all the time. What are you talking about? Tech -ti tech Titian. Titian. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. C I A N. Tech tick. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Look at that? Oh when. No? Wait, no no no, hold on. No? No no no, hey, no T, no T. How do you spell your name? No T. <laughs> T A C T I C I Yeah, that's what I thought. C I yeah, that's right. I've never been to a spelling bee anyway, so whatever. 
I failed all of my spelling classes in school, but they passed me anyway because they felt bad. So I hardly know how to... I hardly know any English. <laughs> yeah, me no speak English. Speak what? Huh? Speak what? What? K, K, Pasa, Mufasa? Alright. I only speak an egg pig, Latin egg. Latin leg. Well, you, it's special. There you go. Okay, there you go. Now we can see everybody. All right, both players are uh, just uh, picking their opponents. Uh, picking their characters. Bayonetta. We are Who's almost ready to go. Be? He might. He'll either go Robin. I feel like he's gonna go Robin. <gasps> he's gonna he's go Pichu. Pichu. Oh, he's pulling out the team. Robin Aqua Bandana. Uh oh. No. Oh, it was a meme. It was a meme. Like, you don't. You don't know what Bayo I'm gonna pick. Ditto. Shut up. Hold on. There's no you're way this not, is gonna happen, gonna right? That. Yeah, that's what I thought. Are you tactician. Serious? Okay. Yes. All right. So Robin, I saw this coming. Tactician seems to be having a mental lapse currently. These are two friends, man, playing a game. And that's that's always the best. Uh, it, it's great to see some friends in bracket. Yeah. They're just having fun. Wait, we might actually see Pichu right now. It's like, no. Going to. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> so after about 15 different baits, I swear this would be. Fi I swear this is fishing. We have Bayo versus Robin. Everyone knows who's going who. We got Rose on that bail, making her look good in this game. And Robin, or in Tactician on Robin, making her look even worse than she actually is. All jokes aside, these are both very good players. They're very good at their specific characters, nice. and that's... Rose, Rose told me that was true. I don't think I believe him. Was but that, he is uh, the bail player. Fair to fair to fair yeah, to fair. Yeah, so to fair, fair to the, the fair is three hits. So the first two hits of fair to auto-cancel to the other two hits, they... Combo up to 40%, I believe. Very good, wow. Tactician doing a good job waiting on that witch time to hit him with the up air. Now, Robin, Robin does damage fast, especially with her specials. So, Tactician is in no way out of this right now. Um, Robin, and Bayo definitely Robin has trouble killing. Robin grab, and now he's paying for it. Nearly got hit by that uh, by those guns. So Would have knocked him out if he did. Now, I think that Bayo's going to have trouble in this matchup. Robin has very strong kill confirms. Bayo does not. Not to mention the projectiles, which Bayo struggles against quite a bit, considering the only one she's got is her guns, which are at an angle. So it's hard for her to do anything with them. Tactician is playing very carefully. He, not to he knows he doesn't mistakes. have to push the advantage. He is Robin. And he's slow anyway, so it might not be the best part or the best decision, but Ooh. very good edge guard coming out of Rose. Gently that upbeat is a very safe stage. and very good gimp. Yeah. And he is very good at getting it. Here we see some Bayo combos. Rose, ha Rose has a lead and he's taking, uh, taking advantage of it. Now, something I've noticed is that Rose is very good at getting damage off even when the opponent DIs out of their combos. He, has ju he just has such good knowledge of all of Bayo's options in terms of movement, in terms of what will hit. He's such such oh, a smart player. That might be a kill right there. Nice. That down tilt. Let's Doesn't make it back. Nice. Surprisingly, he used all of his mo he used most of his movement on getting the kill. But that's a full stock lead. Very I'd say it. it's worth it. Yeah, yeah. He had a lot of damage anyway, so it's okay. He, br he brought down, dodges uh, the arc thunder uh, with only one stock. just a crouch. Oh, yeah. Bayo's crouch is really low. Oh. oh, here we see another edge guard. Oh, That's it, it. I don't think he can make it back. Oh, he, did not oh, make he it SD's back. trying to get the kill. Tactician made it back. And this right here is very good for Tactician. Tactician he only needs to take a stock. For, uh, as damage. Uh, he only needs to take one stock good, now, and it's not hard with when it comes to Robin. Tactician is keeping his cool very well. Oh, but that that bear nearly did him in. He dodged the, those. Here, uh, we're those seeing another edge guard yeah. situation. Rose misses it. Back on stage for tactician. The reverse thunder. I like seeing that. Ooh, and he blocked that dare. Uh, bear. Very he's good. out of recovery. He's gonna have to be really careful. If he ends up off stage, he's dead. Rose seems to be fishing for back airs. Uh, does it enough? He might get that one that he needs. However, he's piling up the damage, and he's near. He's nearing kill percentage. Oh no! That's Ooh, it. But that witch time. Did Such it a for him. Good, smart witch time. 
Yeah. Tactic Rose is really good at knowing when to use the witch time. He he, he doesn't even know how it works either. He just knows when to use it. Dangerously good with that. It's scary. So we're seeing Rose <laughs> take the first game, but it was really close. This set could go anywhere from here. All right, right now Rose is leading one to zero. Uh, Rose versus the Tactician. Um, I think the thing I like the most about Ultimate character. is you can't sleep on any character. You cannot. You can anybody will play any character because they know it can work. <laughs> oh no! All right, looks like I'm up. All right. Please I let am, me come to you. I am about out of time uh, as well for streaming. Um, I need to find a replacement soon. Hey, uh, I gotta go pretty soon, man. Can you find Enrique to uh, get someone to replace me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm leaving now. <laughs> Here you go. Mike, let's do this, dude. All right, you guys. Yeah, yeah, it's that one. We got your boy Super Size Me with Magic Mike. Yeah, it's on. Are oh, yours? Alrighty. Mm, where's gems? Uh, where is it? Oh, my two. They're both on lock. I have no idea. Uh, sunshine battle. There we go. All right, Mike. We're gonna have to commentate from both right here. Right, yeah, dude. All right, guys. All right, so we got a classic one right here. It's a very. It was once a one-sided rivalry in Smash Four. It became a little bit more spicy once Smash Ultimate came because Tactician's getting carried by by Robin now. Yeah, he actually has a chance now. It will, it's no longer a 70-30 matchup in this game. All right, this is exactly the position that Baby called me. All right. All right. I'm just gonna be commentating by myself, but let's see this match. All right, these two players actually play a lot. Oh, I, the second mic isn't on. The second mic. Through here? Check. Click it. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're good. We live, baby. All right, well, I was just saying, like, this match is a legendary match between Smash 4 and Ultimate. These two play together almost every single day. K-pop. All right, nice edge guard right. by Rose. Now we're going to bring it back. This is Doug hopping on the comp. What's Bayonet? Oh, yeah. So, what Bayonet is, like, doing is they like, going under your recovery. Up being you, forward or forward or forward air. Yeah. Dead. And because you get, I mean, you get another LB, so it's, it's pretty low committal. It's a low committal type shit. And it's so yeah. easy for her to get her opponent off stage. It's pretty easy for her to land a hit uh, with her LB out of shield, you know, the dive kick, etc. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely think that this map uh, is in favor for Bayonetta. Um, I feel like bullets and just her, uh, her dive kick just kind of really works with this map. And just like that, Tactician gonna even it out with a down smash. Mm -hmm. A down smash just has a huge hitbox. Yeah, it pretty much challenges a lot of moves that ledge. You just gotta be careful. And it has a lingering hitbox. It has like, I think it hits your shield like three times. Yeah, if it you can play. actually break it. If it's low, it's, it's gonna break it. I actually mm -hmm. got clipped by him like last month because uh, I got hit with the dope, with the two hitboxes of the down smash and it broke my shield. Right, Rose definitely that. needs to look out for that. Though I don't think Rose really sh is gonna find himself shielding all too much against uh, against Robin. I think if anything, Robin's gonna be the one shielding against Bayonetta. Alright, right now, Tykesson doesn't have 11, so he got it back. And he definitely could have just rinse and repeat that Nair situation right there. Um, he did go, he did opt out for an up B. I believe he should have uh, gone for a second Nair. Um, to stuff out the, the tech in place. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, <laughs> that, that's a group. Smash 4. I definitely, that, that's reminiscent of Smash 4. Now they're just gonna feel, uh, feel each other out. Uh, Tactician. Tactician's fishing for a setup, yeah. dude. He, he, I, I he, see him. He has a uh, mid charge on the 11 sword, so he definitely doesn't wanna swing if he doesn't have to. Gonna get him off stage, set up a ledge guard. Oh, opts out for the jump. Doesn't call it out. He had been jumping. Um, Rose just decided, recognized the situation, and decided to do a normal getup. Um, I definitely think Tactician should keep um, a, a uh, what is it called? Not the on the that one, the purple one. Oh. He's gonna mind game Arc Thunder? He's gonna, yeah, I, I was about to say, he's gonna mind game him. Yeah, Arc Thunder, my bad. Now, yeah. I definitely think that he should keep Arc Thunder a little more. Um, and just because he he's, uh, Rose has been kind of staying in the corner. And even it out with the Nair, that hitbox is huge. Um, just, uh, 
Just a reminder that Smash 4, Robin could never even imagine doing that. Stuffing off Vayner a dive kick with Nair. Bro, that thing was huge <laughs> in the game. You, yeah, you just got thing. hit before anything. Yeah, you, you before already, you the, an, the animation wasn't even out and you're already getting comboed. Oh, crucial. Oh, he spiked Very on crucial. That. Oh. Bayonetta Very really good awareness. Good oh yeah, Bayonetta has a good recovery, but that was really good awareness for Rose. Um, not panicking, not you know doing a uh, directional air dodge, realizing you know I'm hit, you know I'm I don't have all my resources. I'm just gonna use what I got and immediately get back to ledge. Reset the situation. All right, now we have the perfect position for Bayonetta. Yeah. She's at ledge. She can get a chance to edge guard, and she's gonna rinse and repeat this until he she has one more. Kill. He's about to run out. He's gonna grab okay. him. Oh, I yeah. was gonna say he's about to run out of Elwin. That was the last one. All right, he's gonna be looking for a setup. We can, we can yeah. tell it. You can, we can, I can definitely see um, Sour Spot back air into strong back air being taken in here at the ledge. Um, tech, tactician opting out to go way too low for. Uh, I don't that know. Was maybe good. I really don't think he meant to fastball. Unfortunate. We're gonna take it 2-0. Um, let's see who we put on next. I definitely uh, think. Me versus Jules. You versus Jules. Okay, we can. I definitely think that bro, uh, tactician. Um, should have revolved more around uh, charging, you know, getting Arc Thunder. Uh, Rose wasn't really approaching, so, you know, a tactician yeah. could have definitely just laid back, hold center stage, um, and get his uh, Arc Thunder, get his setups going. I don't think this was a good stage, also. Yeah, that's just that, the fact that, yeah, like, Bayonetta was just crouching under every single of his projectiles, while Rose was just, like, wait, waiting. He's a whip yeah. punish master. He just yeah. waits for you silently just to side B you after burner kick, dash. Dash grab. You're gonna get 40 damage. You're gonna get off stage. He's gonna give you a kiss off stage and you're done. Pretty Moving it on to Glitchbird and Furman. Alright. Um, Furman actually had a good showing on Tuesday. He uh, he managed to. Who did he, be? he He took it over A1. I believe it was game three. A1 being a very good player. He actually took Last Sunshine over uh, Seba and myself, Doug. Um, so, very, very good showing. Uh, we'll see how. How this match goes, uh, we know for sure Firm is going DDD. And as for Glitchbird, he does have a plethora of characters. Um, I was talking with him earlier, and he does seem to like We Fit and Olimar a little better. So we'll see what uh, what bag, what what trick he pulls out. He pulls out of his bag with this game. Yeah, and this should be. Oh, this isn't even quarters, is it? Yeah, this should be. No, this is, no, this this is, is round two. Yeah, no, no, no. This should be at least round, or at least round three. At least. Players deciding on the, on the stage. Um, I know most players opt out to go for, uh, what's it called, Pokemon Stadium 2. I don't think that's the best you know, choice for most characters, especially for when you're facing someone who is as, um, has such a big arsenal like Glitchbird. I definitely think uh, counterpicking definitely takes its toll, even just for the first game. Yeah, I definitely like people should just not um, gentlemen to yeah. PS2. I agree. I think that's pretty. Uh, I think the meta lately has been, you know, kind of been shifted toward. Hey, you know what? Turns out that Pokemon Stadium is not as neutral as we thought. You know, mm, a um, lot of characters like yeah. There's characters that get a lot of out of it, like Wario, like Palu with the platform extensions. Um, but no platforms here running into FD. Um, All right, interesting big. We're gonna see the Pokemon trainer versus DDD. I expected the Weefit trainer, but yeah, I yeah. yeah, I really did too. I know uh, Glitchbird really likes the stage with uh, Weefit trainer, since uh, Ball is basically free pressure. There's nowhere you can go. Besides, I guess you can jump or parry, but you know it's not as free as if you just kind of hang out on a platform. Um, and starting pretty strong. Uh, Squirtle gonna give DDD a lot of time, a, a, a hard time. Um, the fact he's so small, he's so mobile, so short, you know, he's really hard to hit. He you know, doesn't have exactly the best hitboxes. He kind of lacks in that. Yeah, but what I think is good against Squirtle is Gordo, since uh, Squirtle doesn't have the biggest hitboxes. Oh, um, that's true. And then most of his hits are multi-hit, and they don't break exactly. it. Exactly. So I, I definitely think Gordo is a very good tool. However, Squirtle gonna use his maneuver maneuverability with the uh, that side B, right? The side B using the the shell, kind of breaking the space, not really. Letting Furbit set up his Gordo traps. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, definitely at uh, 70% range is definitely when Glitchbird is gonna opt out to switch for Ivysaur. Definitely doesn't want to die to a random smash attack. Yeah, and Razor Leaf just like completely shutting down anything Furbit yeah. wants to do. That's he no longer can do like the regular options he likes. He has to force. He's forced to play like around Razor Leaf now, which is uh, precisely the range he wants to be playing himself with. Oh, 
Oh, I have no what? Idea how to oh my god. Jump with god. Back that was just crazy. That I can't believe that. Opting off right. for the cheese, not gonna get it. No, at least go for it. Like, what do you have to do? Oh, run up F smash. That that was actually really good spacing. I don't know if you saw, it, but Furman did throw out the back air. Uh, the F smash managed to space out the the uh, what's it called? The back air. So gonna take it over with that F smash. Very very good. You know, you didn't really commit to that with these so was in a miss. Yeah. That's kind of thing. If you're gonna go for those risky moves, you just gotta commit to it. Yeah. It won't hit. There's no half like. And you can't challenge that. No, you can step on it, but you I mean, step on it, but <laughs> you can't like challenge yeah. it with a hitbox. And no, 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 definitely not. Uh, but if you step on him, he's dead. He's actually dead. Like, F smash him. Gonna drop the big hammer on him. Gonna call it a stock. Um, I definitely think that Glitchbird maybe should have stayed Squirtle a little bit longer. But nah, Ivysaur still plays in neutral a lot. Well. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Squirtle kind of does uh, gives him a hard time. Gonna call it that double jump. Um, that's actually a really big flaw for DDD or DDD players you know they have a lot of jumps uh, not a lot of people challenge them but glitch we're gonna say I, I got no time for that I'm gonna challenge it and, and the then SD. I'm gonna SD <laughs> oh we at least have to see one SD on stream yeah that's true every set at least it wasn't me this time <laughs> I always SD man because you go for too much <laughs> all right dude you know right, I think that you guys don't go for enough risky stuff nah, have you thought about that no. <laughs> Let's see these two players are going for a lot of risky stuff. Um, I definitely think that Glitchbird needs to close the space a little. He was kind of in his face the, the past two stocks and now he's just kinda pretty much out. just outclassed him in the neutral. So that's kind of what Squirtle does. Um, and now he's he's opting out for it, kind of like a whole bait and whiff thing. If he's going to play the mid-range, I definitely think he should stick to Squirtle. There's no way. That's going to take that's it. the beat. That's the beat. Oh he's like, all right, I can regular get this. I can regular get up. GDD just inhales it. Boom. He literally it out. spat on him. He just a two and, and killed him. And he gets the multiplier because of the inhale. Wait, so what? So he kills a lot earlier. Hold on, wait, let me, let me read this. I want to read the chat real quick. Oh, oh, what is it? Match, Should have gotten the fail on the last side beat. I believe that junk did not have a jump. I actually did not have a jump, so that is a good call. I did it. Being hella unsafe, throwing out side Bs. Yes. Yeah, and I, I, yeah, that's right. You're right, Electro. And I definitely think he should have. This one right here. I definitely think um, he needs to play a boxing game. Uh, DDD's boxing options are pretty bad. He has down tilt, maybe jab, both of all of which lose to shield, and his grab isn't that good, you know. Has such a big body, so it's easy to cross him up. Gonna, I right. okay. Uh, I'm not right. too sure about right. this I have, pick. I don't know. I don't know. Whoa. Okay. Well. Okay. So check this out. So with Squirtle, he was able. I don't know if you noticed, but a lot of times he was able to like uh, at the ledge, he would go back, come back in, and then shell. Right. It's pretty safe. You know, either he's gonna hit, be safe, or he's gonna go through his opponent, reset neutral. Um. Now, the shield, the, the ledge pressure from DDD is evident because Luigi is has a really hard time at the ledge. Um, probably gonna opt out for the fireball cheese. Um, I don't. I mean, sure, this is working right now, but I definitely think that he's gonna have to figure out a way to really, you know, take down this big penguin. Um, I believe that at all costs, he needs to stay away from the ledge. He cannot get taken off stage. Oh my oh, God! He's just gonna go. camp him with fireball. I, oh. All right, Furman already ate seventy percent. He definitely needs to get something going. All from fireballs. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, and I mean that's viable, you know. If uh, Furman decides, hey, I'm gonna stay back, play this Gordon range, um, glitch, we're gonna say, I, well, I want none of that. Got this fireball. It doesn't matter what you do. You stay still. You throw Gordos. It's gonna yeah, flame. In the, long, in the long run, it's not really working out. No, I, I mean it's. He found himself at the ledge. Oh, oh, that definitely would have been in. Is it gonna be right? Di? No, no, yeah. Had he died in, that would have definitely been in. Yeah, and Tano City is a big stage. Oh, definitely. Uh, oh, I was yeah, going to say, yeah, he definitely needed to side B there. Um, and that, that was kind of like the, the the point of no return for Luigi, where he has to commit for the side B. He ended out with that downer. Um, interesting. I, pretty sure, I'm pretty surprised that caught it. Um, normally, he has super armor. Luigi's going to hop off of the commentary. He does have a match, so I'll go ahead and uh, stay here. Oh, the downer. But no punish, not even, you know, uh, I understand the whole, you know, maybe he, he didn't have that much lag, so he might get out. Um, but I definitely think he could have threatened at least his area, at least maybe run up. Oh, very good roll. He, it, it actually looked like he buffered it, so. I very good stuff. Yo, Lego jumping on the commentary with me. This is my my brother. So. So what's going on? Yeah, this is actually, so Vermin took it over. Uh, 
over Glitchbird, game one. Uh, Glitchbird went Pokemon Trainer, and he decided to go Luigi. Luigi? Yeah, very, and very strange to from Glitchbird again. Yeah, he's, I mean, I, I played friendlies with him. Oh, oh, that's the bait, yep. Oh, that was clean. I mean, yeah. there's no reason for Glitchbird to go for that upper right there, but, I mean, that was a good part on Fermi for oh, yeah, punishing very, that. Very good, uh... That unnecessary upper. Mm -hmm. That was kind of like a Bruce up there, where he kind of rises up with an aerial. Yeah, he definitely should have just uh, grabbed the ledge. Uh, but then again, as Luigi, against DDD, you really don't want to find yourself at the ledge. And right now, it seems like Fermi is taking a comfortable lead. Yeah, and then Fermi just going to play this uh, this medium rage once again. Yeah. Um, Glitchbird seems to have, earlier oh. on during the match, he did, uh, Glitchbird was abusing Fireball. Oh, he wasn't? Uh, yeah, he was abusing Fireball. He actually took the first 70% of the match, which essentially just Fireball. Um, I'll be, that's, that should be it, yeah. Oh. Very yeah, strange a pick. Um, I definitely don't agree with the Luigi. Uh, Fermi gonna take it right over him. Um, it would've been nice to have seen the Weefa Trader. I, it felt like he went Luigi for the Fireball to kind of, you know, get the, during the Gordo space, you know, Fireballs just negates that pressure. Mm -hmm. Um, but when it came down to, you know, <laughs> not just cheesing with Fireball and playing neutral, it, it definitely seemed like he wasn't too sure of what he was doing. I would have loved to have seen the Wii Fit, uh, since she could kind of do the same pressure that Luigi could do with Sun Salutation. Yeah. Um, but enough of that match. We're going to run it up to A1 versus, or sorry, QD versus 15. Um, should be a DK uh, Snake matchup, as those are their mains, but they do have some solid secondaries. So we're going to see what they're going to decide to pull out here. Um, did, did it go to PS2? What? Did it go to PS2? No, I don't I know didn't what see. Map they I, didn't, I didn't see. I don't think this is round three, round two. Bro, what, what round is it? Round what round is it? Round three. All right, so this is actually round three. This, I believe this is the last match of round three before we go ahead and start diving into quarters, semis, and the good stuff. Cutie, you mean Dragon Slayer? <laughs> that 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 tag only lived um, for about like three months. I really don't know what the deal with that was. I'll what, go ahead and ask him once he finishes the match. I'll see. Uh, yeah, Dragon Slayer six nine. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> none yeah. of that. We got Cutie. I forgot um, about that. We got Snake. It's a new game. Ooh. And oh. so I've actually oh. played this matchup a couple times. Uh, since I don't like, my, I'm in ZSS. And I don't like ZSS Snake. I tend to like uh, going Fox or DK. Snake. Huh? I don't think anybody likes. No, I don't nobody like Snake. Uh, against Snake. No, I nobody likes Snake. Um, but I think that, uh, yes, uh, DK is a big body, he's going to get hit, you know. But what he does have over Snake in this matchup is that he's able to actually keep him in the air a lot with up air. That's true. Well, most of his aerials. Most of his aerials back air. Oh, oh but God. that, that, I don't think that was a good DI. That, I yeah. definitely think that it should not have killed. He's <laughs> probably, oh, 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 I definitely not. thought that was going to spike. Yeah, I thought so too. Oh, good call out on the air dodge, but just not enough drift. And here, this is exactly what I was talking about. The oh. up air is just, it's cloud up air on steroids with... With some fur from fucking DK's <laughs> up air from DK's head, sorry. Ooh, very good awareness on the C4. Gonna set up a tech situation. Ooh, opting out for the get up attack. Um, what? Oh, that. The guy using the grab invincibility. Yeah. Oh, very that unfortunate. Sour on, spot uh, back here. Oh, oh my. Is and he? Going deep. Oh, Jesus and he's back Christ. On 15 saying, you know what? You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna chase you out here. If you're off stage, guess what? I'm off stage. Exactly. And oh, he him. opting out to bail on that, on the chase I, yeah, right there. I was, yeah, because it was a C4. Sworn he got that. No, he had him, but he decided to air dodge because he saw the C4 drop. Um, I think it might have stuck on him had he. No, I, I think he grabbed the grenade. Like he. No, he, it was a C4. Oh, okay. Yep, there it is. No, yep. it was a C4. Was there. Yeah, I was gonna say it's, it's right there. Oh, oh, definitely trying to use oh. the nair um to negate the hitbox of Nikita. DK big boys. Uh, kind of. Oh, very unconditional up B. <laughs> gonna, gonna play nicely, get him out of the corner. He definitely doesn't want to get grabbed. He's not mashing. Oh, he was not expecting that. And he's gonna air dodge in. Yeah, definitely gonna air dodge in. Oh, that was very... Oh. Just too much Buff aerial spinning Kong. <laughs> Seriously, that was that was a load of baloney. Oh, he stuck him? Did he? Yeah, I definitely yeah. stuck him, yeah. Um... And now, you know, this is this is snake heaven. If, if you main snake and you're in this scenario, you're up a stock against a heavyweight and it's trying to force a kill on you, you're basically at a playground during third grade, during <laughs> recess. This is that's essentially, that's essentially what you're doing. You're just playing around, dropping the C4, you're gonna take this stock, you know. Um, Snake's that, one of those characters that, that if he gets the lead... Extending his hurt box. The what? That the back here extended his hurt box? Yeah. And it, you, I mean, you're down a stock, you know, you're swinging, you really want to take the stock. 
Uh, QT just gonna take it pretty cleanly. Um, I know 15 also plays uh, Incineroar, who has the same problem DK has in this matchup. Um, I definitely think he shouldn't be afraid to trade. Um, it looked like a couple times maybe he could have gone for more up airs. I definitely think he should be a little more aggressive, you know, um, opting out to. I guess that's kind of biased since I always pick like the aggressive option. But it's somewhat against Snake, a um, character whose uh, disadvantage state is pretty bad. I definitely think you should be really pushing it, you know, push it as far as you can. Even if it means to trade. Because essentially you are going to die the same. Um, I'm thinking to switch for Lucina. What do you think about this pick? I, th I think he should have stayed Snake. I mean, he was doing pretty well. Yeah. But, um, uh, I don't know why he decided to opt to I, Lucina. It, it's probably the stage. Uh, you know, Snake uh, wants platforms. And the platforms here don't really, you know, add up to any pressure for That's Snake. True. C4 is really like... <laughs> if, you put it, if you put it there, it really doesn't do anything. Um, a, lot, a lot closer. This matchup a lot. I would say a little more even. Spot dodge. Dolphin snap. Oh, what? Oh. Roll in? Oh. I mean, okay. Alright. I thought he was going to punish it with a grab. Huh? I thought he was going to punish it with a grab. Yeah. Had uh, So right there, he actually got back here. He was coming back on stage. Oh, beautiful stall. Oh, my goodness. Oh! oh. There's no way. Oh, he's going off, man. Beat the double jump? Oh. Okay, oh. um, I don't agree with that F-Tilt, uh, you, <laughs> you're DK, my, my oh. dude. Oh, that downer, it looked like, looked like he got curb stomp, man. <laughs> Pretty instant, too. Um, using the new trophy, um, okay. Okay, oh. that was, that was really interesting. The, the spacing on that was just like, Kinda like a off. millimeter off. It was, it was really close. Um, QD gonna, you know, <laughs> disregard any pressure, saying, you know what, I got a sword, you got a fist, and my sword wins. And this is exactly where DK wants Lucina, in the air. Uh, he wants to kind of get these grabs. Uh, Lucina's kind of this like weird middleweight that's kind of floaty. Oh my god, he's trying to... Okay, so... It kind of looks like uh, like 15's trying to really call out these spot dodges. <laughs> yeah. So we're trying to see how... Oh, 15's really, really going for these reads. And, no, he's, he's oh, there we go. Just it. immediate turnaround back here. Just going to take it, you know? Yeah, and that was really, go for it. that was really good on his part. Um, mm -hmm. 15 was kind of baiting uh, earlier, you know, with the F smashes and trying to call out defensive options. This time, saying, you know what, no defensive option. I'm just gonna go on, take out this stock with this big yeah, fat. Pink he's, foot. Not, he's not gonna, he's not scared right now. Oh, so he's not gonna okay. air dodge. Uh -uh. No, and now, okay, so back but, now this is DK's playground right here. You know, not off stage because oh, beautiful hit, use of the hitbox on the up Jeez, he's just not stopping. Okay, this is a really bad spot for Lucina. Okay, that's gonna take this. No, oh, that's oh, not DK gonna take the stock. Big boy. What? Oh my. What? Okay, I was okay. gonna say. Oh. Was that was that first hit of uh, side B? Huh? Mm, I honestly, I was looking at DK. <laughs> I, I was like, I was trying to see if he was gonna live. No, he got hit uh, with down air. Yeah. He did, huh? Um, yeah, he got hit with down air. No, but first hit of down side B into down air. Oh, no jump. I don't know, it looked like something light, and then. Yeah, I was. Oh, oh my God! Was that? He just whipped the F smasher, the the F air, right? Yeah, definitely gonna see a switch back to the snake. Um, I, I highly doubt he's gonna stick to Lucina. I think so. Too. Lucina's good. I got to play him a couple times in friendlies, but um, it definitely looked like 15 had a grasp on what he was trying to do. I, I think back. he's gonna switch back as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, maybe maybe he wanted to try the Lucina out. Yeah, maybe to throw him off a little. I mean, he has such a solid grasp on game one with him. How come I can't hear you? You can't hear me. I can't hear you either. Like through the headset. Yeah, not through the headset. I can hear you like your voice, but not through the headset. But I'm talking pretty loud. All right, gonna run it up to game three. Um, gonna run, run it back. Okay. Uh, so forget what I said about this being a uh, not the best map for Snake. <laughs> snake. Or maybe it one saying, you know what? I don't need the counter pick. I'm just gonna, you know, gonna do Snake stuff. We're gonna do DK stuff, and Snake stuff is just better than DK stuff. Um. I wonder what the 21 tag. means. Do you know what the 21 means? Huh? Do you know what A1's 21 tag means? Uh, he, he put cutie because he's cute. No, but he's, he's, oh, his... His, oh, his, oh, like his in-game tag. Oh. That didn't break it? Okay. Snake. Well, to be fair... What? Oh. There's no fucking way, bro. What? Okay, this is... I, I hate this character. <laughs> but that was so crazy. Okay. Wait, you, hate, you hate DK? No, I hate Snake, bro. That should be a stock. Yeah, I should. Be. What? 
Okay. I'll just say <laughs> that. I okay, whatever. I was gonna say down throw, but he obviously knows something I don't. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh. Oh, very good utilization of the up B. However, that up smash gonna come in clutch. Um, and yeah, just like I said, you know, <laughs> snake stuff just kind of negating DK's pressure. Um, you know, I sometimes forget that you can't cross people up as much as you could in Smash Four, oh, yeah. like on people's shields, like with like with dash tag or something like that, like some grounded move. So it, like every time like a character throws like a dash tag on someone else's shield, throws me off. It's like. I expect him to be on the other side, but... Ooh, beautiful of each, just really maximizing his momentum and just finding a way back. Uh, 15 is really, really good at recovering with this character. Um, and living. He did main him in Smash 4, so, you know. Oh, very good utilization of the OB, knowing that A1 really wants to swing there. Pushes disadvantage state. Oh, he's going to definitely opt in for air, air dodge in. Yeah, I, I definitely think that Always. 15 needs to pick up on that. Oh, that up air is going to take it. Yeah, most definitely. 180% full max rage. Full stick of butter. Oh, oh he's brave. Oh, he's brave. Oh my God. He's scared. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he calls it out. Is he going to do it? Oh! Oh, let's go! What? That was a beautiful call out on the jump. 15 going to take it over him. And, okay, so this goes back to what I was telling you. 15 was really good at conditioning and really waiting for his opportunities. For example, the, the F smash, the back air. Saving it for when it mattered, taking the stock at like, what, 50%? Yeah. Yeah, on Snake, that's that's crazy. 15, yeah, really good upset. Let's see who we... The moment Cutie missed that, that up tilt, and he yeah. took that donkey punch. And oh he got that donkey God. punch? That was yeah. just momentum. That yeah. was, if that you ever play like Street Fighter and you get your full meter of like of like special, that that was it right there. He had a full meter, he just went into town with him. Taking, taking it over 2-1. In a pretty bad matchup, I would say for for DK. Sure enough, he can he can punish his landing, but man, that's just that just looks rough. Yeah, but I mean, I think that was good on 15's part to go off stage. Oh hell yeah, that was a chase. I and honestly, if I know 15, I definitely think he would have gone for the suicide OB. Yeah. You know that what do you got to lose? You're at 180, you get grabbed, <laughs> and you, you get anything, stocks. and you have a two stocks. Suicide OB, very good awareness. Um, seeing uh part of Mexico, uh Mexico, part of Juarez's crew. Uh, coming in the chat, supporting his boy 15 with Woko next, Olkir. Oh, and plus uh, Dobby, I guess. Dobby. So uh, uh, very good stuff seeing them and show then, up. And then Q yeah. lost his lost his jump too on that first backer. Yeah, that, yeah, that. So when DK gets it like that weak dash attack on you, um, a lot of times he's able to frame trap you with the with the back air. So if you get like if you jump, you're gonna get tapped. Yeah. <laughs> and you get the weak hit of back air, which is even worse than the uh, sour, than the strong hair. Oh, I know. Uh, <laughs> A1 here, A1 here, Lego here would know up of all people since we're all, we're like sparring partners and I play a lot of DK, so yeah. he's very aware of the setups here. Yeah, but we don't talk and about that. And he doesn't that. like uh, DK. <laughs> 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 but we're going to run it up to the next uh, match. Let's see. Now we're just waiting. Yeah, let uh, me, let me. Did you, did, right oh yeah, the bracket. Okay. Did you want to jump on commentary? You're good? You got to commentate? Uh, uh, Psycho. I mean, I'm gonna go get my laptop to see who I can put on match. All I'll right. be right back. And now we're just waiting. Hello, sir. I see a lot of the like You mean Canela? Woo! Woo! Yeah, now we're just, uh, just chilling. I think we're gonna have 15 again, back on stream against a super size man. Let me take off. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, for those of you that don't know, SSN does stand for Super Size Me, not Super Smash Melee. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I got it. Uh, let, me let me change it back. Super Size Me. Okay, and then... Okay. 
Oh, and uh... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll move it a little bit more. It's kind of close to it. There we go. Okay, game one, they're going to PS2. And... I have no idea what's in it. I have not seen 15 play much. Uh, but I have seen Super Size Me play quite a lot. And... He's been on the grind lately. Ever since he got himself his own switch. But right now, it does feel pretty even between the two players. Of course, uh, Subsize Me does have the present lead. But as everyone knows, BK is the powerhouse and <laughs> Fox is a light mofo. So. <laughs> Any hard hitting moves that DP throws out right about now will surely kill Fox. And the same thing goes for Fox. Um, one good, one good strong hit, and um, that's DK stock. But 15 taking the stock lead now. Both players dancing around each other. Ooh, and Super Saiyan just waiting for that jump. Okay, going for the down throw, not leading into anything, but. Alright, we are back. Oh, thank God. Am I loud? <laughs> Am I good? Okay, I'm loud. I think I'm loud. It's fine. Alright, so, what we got here? Oh, so this is actually a flashback from Smash 4. These two would fight a lot. Yep. Oh, beautiful oh. parry. Oh, I definitely think you should have upped it off for the up air. Could have gotten the uh, upper extensions on the platform there. Honestly, I don't know if it's just me, but does it, does it seem like you don't get much out of parries? No, no, no. I, you do. Especially with Fox. But um, he just he didn't um, capitalize as he should have. Mm -hmm. He got the parry and he got the up tilt, and then after after the up air he uh sorry after the up tilt he could have gotten short up up air down on platform and extend Ooh. that up air <laughs> yeah <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> hit him with the you know with the little little hair part of his head right there oh beautiful uh B reverse it's kind of threatened the space there oh I was oh. definitely expecting a parry there that was a pretty laggy aerial I, I oh, thought he was just gonna go walking up to get crap oh, <laughs> oh that's oh. it that should be oh. That was beautiful. That was amazing. That that uh, the eye cross up. I you know nobody saw that coming. I definitely think that Luis needs to shield a little more at the ledge. You know, kind of holding the, the ledge a little more. Um, Fifteen. Gonna try to look for this grab. Getting back on the center stage. That nair is really good to come back in. Get our disadvantage. <laughs> that was an interesting trade. Had he landed on the platform, he could have thrown the space a little better. Um, yeah, 15 gonna. Oh, we're gonna call. Oh, he calls out the double jump way too patiently. Wow, that uh, up smash out of shield is actually Honestly, crazy. I was expecting a grab. <laughs> a grab there? Yeah. No, from, uh, from 15. Knowing, knowing, no, knowing from Super Oh, from Luis. <laughs> yeah, Luis is definitely notorious for not getting. For, uh, for his punish game, it's uh, extremely lacking. Yeah, I remember Smash 4 one time. I did no, I did get up a tag at like 170, and he, he grabbed me and threw me off stage. <laughs> yeah, it super size me smiling over here. Cause he knows what we're talking. He knows. About. He knows yeah, what he did. Yeah, he knows we always call him out on it, but calling him out on a game. Um, running back. Oh, so there's obviously a thing going on here. Everyone's going uh, game two to uh to oh Carlos. So I'll do it later. interesting to see this uh, counter pick. I definitely think that uh, that um, he probably should have opted out for like Smashville. Kind of gives uh, Fox less room to move around. Because essentially Fox just kind of wants to weave in and out of uh, DK's range, and you know Smashville being a small stage, it could just be a preference, huh? It could just be a preference pick. Yeah, player. of course, preference picks are always a thing. Well, that F tilt, kind of oh, unconditional. Oh. Working out. Oh yeah, no, yeah. Luis was expecting it this time. So Recognizing, you know what, uh, the cargo throw off stage is not gonna kill me. Uh, but this back throw might, so very good awareness. 
Now they're just kind of spacing out. You see, we saw as I was saying, Five Fox starting. wants to just kind of weave in and out. Use maneuver maneuverability. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that should be it. Oh, he's trying to. Oh, yeah, he was he was trying to land on the platform and get the extension. I'm gonna clean it right up with that back air. Um. Oh, getting the read, but just oh man, just inches off. Oh, what? Excuse me. All right. Z <laughs> That was that was a lot of baloney. Gonna tech chase. Oh, very bad reaction time. <laughs> Louis definitely not known for his uh, tech chases, but very good at his uh, kind of getting a feel for his opponent, <laughs> reading, playing the neutral. He really is death by a thousand cuts. I didn't think he was going to catch that. Uh, uh, the tech back? No, I, I didn't think he was going to get that oh. uh, up air. Oh, that up air is extremely... He doesn't have a jump. Oh, yeah. That was, that's an easy stock. Um, I definitely think that, particularly with Fox, I think that uh, directional air dodge should be almost obsolete. Um, since he's a, he's a fast faller, if you fast fall and then uh, nu do like a, a neutral, like just air dodge, just regular air dodge, uh, oh. you'll definitely get back. Oh, Gibson trying to do some cheeky stuff with the forwarder. Just a complete turnaround. Game, I mean, I didn't watch game one, but it was it was like uh, two stock, right? Uh, no. I was it was game it was last stock. Yeah. Oh. But 15 had a good lead. Okay, so I think or in that scenario, I definitely think... Actually, uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I th I'm pretty sure it was two stock. What, regardless, um, I definitely think... Um, oh, this is game three, by the way. Yeah, oh, it's game three? Yeah. Oh, shit. 15 won game one. Oh, and then uh, Fox without a jump is so, so scary. Um, Actually? And this is this is most definitely doable, you know. Fox, uh, Fox kind of fiends off of... My bad. No, no. This is game two. Oh, okay. I was, I was gonna uh, say. I'm, tri I'm tripping. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely tripping. Yeah, this is this is you know Fox is just a monster. I firmly believe that he's top three. I think Fox is really really good. Um, that man just keep pressing. And yeah, Ooh. now it's now it's Digga's turn to land. Nothing's changed, you know. Back in Smash Four, so the matchup was essentially like that. Oh, very smart, you know. Not using his double jump. Oh wow. Back here, oh, it didn't reach. That was that was impressive. I definitely think run up down smash would have been the answer right there. Yeah. And ooh, just gonna go for that downer. Nothing to lose. 180 percent. Fox just has to kind of blink his eyes, and DK will die. So very nice downer. That was a high percent. So I don't huh? think teching was really an option. Oh, okay. There. Uh, I gotta go. You gotta yeah, match. Me. All right. So yeah. they were gonna step off me. of commentary here. My homie. Good luck, dude. Uh, let's see where we go for this next pick. Um, no switch. Oh, for uh, the four pato tag. All right, we got a different hesa now. The four pato tag. I just noticed that. That's actually oh for Tato. For Tato. Okay, I just noticed that. I don't know who Tato is. Regardless, um, uh, oh Seba right here hopping the commentary. Three? Yeah, it's game three. Um, right. pretty convincing in uh. The last game, 15 took it pretty clean. Uh, but now opting out for a different map. Uh, Smashville, I definitely think that... Um, I can see both characters honestly messing each other up. Uh, uh, this is good for Fox more than DK. More than DK, uh, yeah, but I mean, it's also... Not, it's not terrible for DK. No, because, uh, I mean, Fox still wins this match. Yeah. But, well, the point I'm trying to make is that uh, DK... Uh, sorry, DK. Fox kind of wants to be, you know, dashing around, using yeah. his, his fast burst speed to kind of whiff, make a DK whiff or... Make them overstretch. Well, Luis has been it's saying that Smashville, well, like, you know how it used to be bad for Fox and Smash, or like, quote unquote, bad for Fox and yeah. Smash 4? This game is, like, a lot better. Oh, yeah, there's a, you have a stage the platform talking. in the middle. Yeah, definitely. It covers a lot of, like, options for Fox. A very sus a B from 15. Um, <laughs> I don't even think it would have killed, so there's kind of no reason for that, but 15 has been throwing those out. Please you know. buff that. Please buff that? Please no. Buff aerial <laughs> Rough aerial spearing. Oh, aerial oh very nice. Yeah, aerial spinning con. Just kidding, no, I'm just, <laughs> I just kind of renamed it. <laughs> you just kind of going freestyle now. Um, oh, grab will do it. <laughs> oh, that should be it. Yeah. Oh, oh snap. Oh, my goodness. Maybe he could have just back throw? I definitely, yeah, I definitely should have just opted off for the back throw. Or oh. oh, man. Oh, no. oh he, he was definitely going for the cheeky suicide oh. effort. Oh, you think he could have gone for another back throw right there? I think it might have hit. <laughs> yeah, but 15 just seemed like, you know what? I don't want to be anywhere near this. I just, just get me out of here. Uh, uh, Luis definitely tried to go for a suicide fair there. It sure seemed like it. Would have been a good choice, you know, 180%. 
DK gets a grab and it's basically it's over. Big grab or, or up, up tilt. tilt. Yeah. Yep. Very good up tilt. Um, you know, Fox doesn't have a jump. The sweet spot on the has changed. It's now on the palm, I believe, instead of like the inside the arm. But the, uh, that, that, that looked like the, like oh, the sour no. spot. Oh, Ooh, shit. Rise up. Uh, <laughs> I'm talking about DK's up tilt. Oh, up tilt? Yeah, oh, oh good tech. What, what was that? He teched it, but he <laughs> he just fast fell. <laughs> Oh, oh, buff aerial, buff aerial spinning car, man. Oh my god. Uh, we, we saw uh, 15 get a, get a crazy. Oh, oh he should have definitely. Trump, you know, he should have given the hot hands, man. Yeah. The hot hands would have done it. I feel like Trump was a more optimal option, but I mean, like. Oh, and this is just going oh, to town. Yeah, this is, this is just horrible. This Why? is really going out of control for 15. You know. All that percent came from up Yeah, from one up there. Oh, uh, what? No oh, he definitely should have charged like, down smash. He like bounced. Yeah, yeah kind of and crazy. that. So if if you don't if you don't play Fox, then you don't know about that. But yeah. in that scenario, Fox isn't gonna go anywhere. He's gonna bounce and he's gonna get lagged. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, forward air, not gonna go. take it. And 15, you know, don't count him out. Yeah, uh, against uh, A1, he had a crazy 30% uh, yep. stock. Yeah. Uh, he actually got a, a crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, you know what? Okay. You know, okay. For, forget you, you anything want, I said. <laughs> Angel some platform back here. Yeah, just cleaning up that stock. <laughs> that is so anticlimactic, man. Yeah. I hate it's that. It's just like, like a lot of bayonet. It's just like come down from the Angel platform yeah. and smash it. Yeah. The back are you? No, they smash oh, it's, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That that's yeah. definitely the uh, the Captain Zach. Yeah. And it yeah, works. He, we kind of started that back in. Uh, we play. We play. All right, for sure. Do you want to play on stream? All right. Cool, cool. Yeah. I'm about to play my match on stream. So wish me luck. Uh, I guess. Oh, that's a lot more comfortable. Alright, next one. Next up, we got Duck Prime, otherwise known as Chris Seven X. Whoa! Yo, I'm getting a little antsy over there. Oh. Yeah. Sure. Alright. Huh? Yeah. Alright, up next we got Doug versus Prime. Prime coming back from um, beating Diego actually. He's playing pretty good today. And Alex, um, you know, just he's been doing he's, well the whole bracket. Yeah, he's been playing, playing normally. Not nothing too bad. Not he hasn't had too hard of a bracket yet. He's played um, Mate. He's played Gems. Gems. He hasn't played the top, any of the top ten yet actually. So we'll see. Prime's actually pretty good. He's uh, one of the underdogs in El Paso. Mm -hmm. Sam, obviously the best Samus in El Paso, considering he's like probably one of the two. For sure, not many people play Samus anymore. Yeah, but just because he's like the only Samus doesn't mean he's good though. Like there's a lot of the cases with that, in this, especially in El Paso. But mm -hmm. like Alex is like the only DSS here, and, he's and we were really seeing good. some perfect example of it just there with his recovery. Super good at mixing up his movement with the down B. Um, I would say yeah, he is. I feel like he has more out chances to like mix it up on the ledge though. He does like going, going for he, that B-reverse. Yeah, he doesn't go too yeah. far when he, like, he goes side to side. He doesn't go too far with it. I think that the would give him The thing about more. against Zero Suit is that, like, you can't really do it against Zero Suit because she doesn't always like to be covered below. Mm -hmm. Like, what Chris does to edge guard people is that he likes to, like, he likes to B-reverse on the edge a lot with charge shot. So, like, that covers, like, it covers low low options, but high options, he doesn't have an answer for it. Like, yeah, see? And Zero Suit has artist, no yeah. shortage of coverage off stage. Then again, it is hard to get DSS off stage. Back are gonna take it. Cross Kinda stage. I think uh, Samus's back air is like. Is it stronger than, let's say, Wolves? I say I think, it's I close. think Wolves I is a little bit stronger. I think, yeah, I think Wolves is stronger, but not by that much. I think that's kind of ridiculous, honestly, now that I think about it. Yeah, why is Wolf so strong? That can kill I don't cross. Know why it, has, move, it has and can kill cross stage at just 100 on a yeah, midway character. It's, it's ridiculous. Like all of his magic attacks in general. Ooh. 
Don't even get me started. Actually, you know what? Let's just not talk about Wolf at all. Yeah, Prime struggling a little bit to get back in neutral here. DSS is just saying, nope. Zero Can't Suit just... Okay, Paralyzer up. upbeat. Zero Suit is just so good at keeping them off stage. Again, Zero Suit's also really good on the stage. Chris probably didn't recognize that. He probably should have picked a more neutral stage for this map or for this matchup. I would have gone with something like PS2, maybe Kalos, where... Probably, yeah, PS2 is probably the most neutral stage for these characters, in my opinion. Yeah. Zero Suit having triplats is just so strong for her. Yes, it's It, it just her extends stage. her combos so much. Not even her combos, but just, like, you can't land against her on the stage. It's kind of ridiculous. And her up air is the size of the platform. Yep. And it's stupid safe. And Sam is not the best at landing in this game either, so yeah. it makes it even worse. <laughs> she, Samus, really easy time landing Samus though. herself doesn't have much to cover the platforms, like Zero Suit does. Yeah, I mean, they both kind of cover platform pretty well, but I mean, Zero Suit just does everything better. Yeah. Prime finding it really Ooh, hard to... Man. That was that was a ballsy oh. grab. I, that didn't spike. I would say I wouldn't say it's ballsy. I mean, it, he kind of goes for it along the ledge. It's such a huge grab. You know, you can't really get punished for it unless like the opponent like telegraphs a move. Duck has some seriously good reaction time though, so it could have happened. Yeah. Oh. Not good spot dodge, that but that back air is gonna take it. Right there. <laughs> that was buffered short hop back air, yeah. Uh, I don't think so. It was, uh, it was just like it looked like the short hop back air just no. Alright, let's see. Okay, this is one thing I'm gonna analyze right here. The stage bands. Where are we gonna take them? So, Chris told me earlier that he likes to. Um, it sounds like he banned battles. He likes triplats a lot. And he's, he says a lot of the times he'll go for, let's say, Yoshi's, because it's also technically a triplat. Yeah. But I also. But it's got but I also told him that, like, against fast characters, like, for example, in ZSS. I would say don't go there because no because the with Samus the triplats like. are okay and it looks like they're going to battlefield but with Samus the triplats they're they just don't give her as much of an advantage as some characters like Zero Suit. Are we gonna see the Sheik? I think I so. Think, I think we might Sheik is Sheik. definitely one of the most like the big one of the biggest falls from grace from Smash Four to this game. Yeah, she got nerfed pretty hard in Smash Four. It's kind of sad. She's like it really is. She was like a really fan favorite. Now. She okay. just, she's so dysfunctional, but we're looking like we're going back to some, to a triplat. But she, but she does have the speed to contest the DSS, though. That's true. Her frame well, data is a whole lot better. Triplats for this but it's up to Chris, I can't really tell anything about that. We'll just have to see how yeah. well Duck can still take advantage of the triplats. See if he can prove me wrong here. He's definitely doing a much better job at hitting these combo confirms and following up than Prime. Yep. It's forward air strings, though. There goes like maybe like 20%. <laughs> Definitely would have done a lot more in Smash 4. Oh my that back air just yeah. killed. That was like 80%. Man, losing your stock is chic first in this game is even worse than it was in Smash 4. For sure. It's, it, and it's really disheartening just knowing that too. Yeah. It takes a whole lot of willpower to play chic now. Yeah. Because you got to bear with the fact that loss of momentum can be huge. Yep. No matter how good your neutral is. And not, not to mention, he's only going to give Zero Suit Rage because of how hard Sheik finds it to kill. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm watching the wrong side. That back air will kill even earlier. Sheik's strongest aerial option for killing is probably her back air. It <laughs> is. Her up air, but her up air isn't really... Oh, that was nice. It was a good drag down, but... Yeah. Didn't get much off of it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This oh no, this it. might be, yeah, that's it. Sheik's light. Oh my god. Off the top. I don't know if he DI'd that properly either. I don't think so. Yeah. But from the angle, it looked But like it was so bad. close. I mean, Duck could have just done it again. Oh Following god. with these up smash. He, he's really smart with his up, with these up smashes. Yeah, he's not missing up like smash this yet. This isn't going well for Prime right now. This is just capitalizing on the platforms way more than he is. Ooh, that was that was it a still did not kill it. It didn't kill. My goodness. Poor Sheik. Yep. Doing and a good job at ledge trapping, but he's also at the percent where her nair bouncing fish won't even connect. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well, Duck SDs okay. with the downer, but if I'm Duck, I don't care. I, don't really I was know at 150 anyway. That, but okay, I guess he thought he was gonna go for him, and like he tried to read the option by daring, but it definitely killed him. But it, I mean, even if he was trying to like kill him with it, I don't know. Oh. I feel like that wouldn't have worked. 
but he has just done so much damage so Ooh, quickly. Only eight percent. And that's yes. it. Oh, he choked. Should have been. He should have just smashed. But okay. I mean, Uppy still would have killed. He just choked yeah, it. Yeah, but Uppy's hard, a lot harder to hit. Well, not a lot, but like it's just harder to hit in general than that smash I don't, attack. Uh, up smash might not have taken it though. I think I'll smash will kill Sheik for sure. Well, oh, actually, yeah. For that thing kills Roy at like 130. That's a good point. So it'll, it'll kill Sheik at like 110. Choked another up B. Yeah, he's I gotta, think he's got to watch out for that. Yeah, up there up. it is. There he goes. Sorry for updating the. Not updating the scores. <laughs> but all you need to know is that Duck took that it 2-0. Oh, yeah. Very commanding. <laughs> Duck is just such a good player. He is pretty good. A lot of people start need to start grinding his ESS matchup though. Because he does a lot of stuff that like a lot of people think they can punish. <laughs> yeah, Zero Six is a really Luke? inconsistent oh, character. Alright, I'm gonna go against Fermi right now. Uh, you know how to change the things? Yeah, I gotcha. Alright. I'll just have to check bracket. Yeah. Alright, looks like on TM now. Uh, who are you in bracket? Who are you in bracket? Who are you? Fermit. Okay. Fermit. So we got Fermit with his signature Krom, or signature King DDD. Fermit on Krom. Swordies are really hard to deal with in this game. So we're going to have to see how he does. So far, we're seeing a fairly even game. Sortie's obviously really hard to deal with in this game, but Fermin is holding his own for sure. King Dedede's got a lot of disjoints of his own with that hammer. Fermin very skilled at wheeling them, and we see a nice F smash come out from Seba. That was... Fermin is super good at using that down B. Catching Krom's very exploitable recovery with it. But Seba doing a good job racking up damage already. Fermin has an edge guard situation on his hands. Oh, coming out with a ballsy F smash. Doesn't hit. But when Fermin hits those big moves, he gets a lot of momentum. And we're seeing a lot of damage coming out from these combos. Seba finding it hard to deal with him. Indeed, he's got some big hitboxes. F smash almost got that shield break. If he'd hit the second part of it, it would have broken the shield. Actually, that was interesting. He covered he covered his his recovery to the ledge with both a Gordo and an up air through the stage. Again, just have to highlight just how good firm it is with King DDD's options. He knows everything. Now we see Fermit in the lead. Oh, no way. Takes it over Seba with such a good gimp with that down air. Somehow didn't super armor through it either. Fermit is quite the specialist with DDD.
Yep, so as I guessed, we're seeing the same characters come out. Um, I'm taking game one. And now we're in game two. We're going back to PS2. This is, probably, this is a very neutral stage for both characters. Neither of them really get much off of platforms. Neither of them disabled by the platforms either. Seba's got Fermat off stage with a very nice string. Good ledge trapping with that with that jab. Let's see if he can do something with it. All right, nice back air hits him through the the inhale. Still off stage. Crown, of course, being a sortie, he's super good with the ledge trapping. Fermat finally gets out of it. Clean reversal, and we're back to neutral. Inhales the wrong way, Seba gets the forward smash. Seba has a stock lead now. We're gonna have to see what he does with it. What's up, Doug? Now I'm on. What's poppin', Quadra? Yo, this is Doug. Uh, what do we got here? Oh yeah, Firmer took game one, right? Yeah. Yep. Interesting. Was, on, was it on Pokemon Stadium? Yeah, this was. so they're on PS2 for the second game here. Oh, really good roll. Alright, um, Seba, this is first time Seba has the lead, and he seems to be doing a good job of keeping it. Uh, um, at this point, Seba can kind of just fish for any, for DDD to overstretch. Um, yeah. <laughs> Somehow, with the masterful Gordos, Fermit is so good at using them. Yeah, that really just, um, and then Kramas kind of has a linear recovery. Um, oh, Gordos, for sure, he's been yeah. doing a really good job of taking advantage of that recovery. Fermit just going to kind of place the Gordos in a spot where it puts Krom at... Really rough spot. If he really wants to recover, he's going to have to kind of air dodge very tightly since he didn't have a jump and then up be pretty low. Um, yeah, Furman has been doing a great job at like disabling Seba's ledge traps. He uses the Gordos and the up air through the stage. Yeah. And it does a good job of covering all of Seba's options. Makes it harder for him to keep him off stage, keeps them in neutral for longer. And just like that, Seba really running with his lead. Um, and F smash, catching him over stretching. Uh, once again, catching him over stretching. That, that Seba's full, so almost good a at full that. stock for Seba. He's clearly doing better now that he has the advantage. Yeah, Seba is one of those players that once he gets, you know, he's, he's a very explosive player. If he gets a, a hit on you, it just he just runs it. Um, that was pretty weird. He got hit with, uh, I believe he was falling up there. And, uh, Krom just kind of hit him with the uh, rising up Good air. juggles, taking advantage of the heavies. Uh, Krom probably could up it off for another up tilt. Um, now finding ledge pressure. This is exactly where DDD wants Krom. Since Gordo can... Can oh, and will kill him. Somehow so he doesn't make it high low. enough. Oh, but he's at, he, he's at the up. I was about to say, he's about the... But he's last the game, we saw, the, we saw a similar situation. Seba was at low percent. Fermat sent him off stage and gimped him with a down air. We could see the same thing happen. Okay. And Seba might be feeling a little disheartened now that it's evened up. Mm. And, um, yeah, of course it's even, but Seba is very good at staying confident, staying, you know, not not getting pushed. So, very, yeah, he very good. did a good solid. job with that F-Smash, so we have game three here. I definitely don't think that this map is good for DDD. As you saw, he ate, like, what, 70% off of Kron's yeah. up airs, uh, thanks to the platform extension. Um, I definitely think that uh, maybe a flat stage or... A smaller stage that doesn't let Krom kind of uh, run around Gordo. I think I think good. that uh, I think FD might be a good choice for DDD. Yeah. Because the Gordos already have like a lot of good space coverage without platforms, and if Krom doesn't have any platforms to extend combos, I think that it'll really help firm it. And this is actually on his counter pick, so he's able to keep away from maps that maybe um, Seven wants to go to, for example, uh, Battlefield or uh, what's the other one? Hollows, you know, gives uh, Krom an, an extra angle to recover with the OB. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna stay Krom, no, no character switch, gonna run it right back. So yeah, same characters game three. We do see we do see some uh, skin switches though. Oh yeah, um, Seba opted off for the black and yellow. Firm it with green. No, he, I like it. Seba uh, firm it uses green. I know that. What? That was he, he couldn't grab it. Okay. All oh, right. Krom. How that grab missed, but uh, grabs are bad in this game. Yeah, interesting that he picked. This map. Yeah, I don't, I don't um, know why he went to Yoshi's. Story. Definitely want to talk to him about why he picked this map. I, uh, I would figure that the tilt would kind of mess up the Gordos. 
Uh, no. I don't know. The, actually, the goal. There's no way. Oh my god. That was a genius F smash. There's no way. He, he saw that air dodge and said, <laughs> "What air dodge?" Oh. Uh, <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. It was such a fast stock. That okay. was like 20 seconds at most. And this is exactly what Furman wants. He just wants to keep him at the ledge. He oh. he is so good at keeping him off because <laughs> Seba just can't do anything. It, like this F tilt is just impossible to fight. Oh, is that about, you know, adapting and going high, <laughs> getting thrown right back off stage. And this is, <laughs> this is basically the matchup. Um, Krom's going to kind of bully DDD, but as soon as DDD can get him off stage, it's uh, not a good time. And that's exactly what I was talking about, the Gordo. Yeah, the Gordo, it's oh! weird. That was such a good call out on that jump. And not just even call it, that was good coverage. Um, that covered the platform if you air dodge down into the platform. That covered uh, if you were to go past the platform. So very good F smash. Uh, kind of a checkmate situation. I'm um, not gonna get away with the air pressure on that time. I know last scenario. Oh, oh, that was, was say, such a yeah. good combo, and yeah. that kills Catching Seba with him. the full stock lead once again. And this is exactly where Seba wants to be. The confidence. Oh no, that F smash. And now Seba's off stage. This is what we don't like to see for Seba. Oh what? Somehow they traded, but it just it just doesn't matter. <laughs> Fermit this is so just silly. Fermit is he's <laughs> feeling himself right now, man. This is so silly. If you're, if you're watching in the stream, you can definitely see Jaleda cheesing. <laughs> oh, that back oh, that, air. That's a nice back air. Almost killed. Oh, very Seba. good rising uh, forwarder. Gonna stay out of the smart recovery. Doesn't have to use his doesn't have to use his up B this time. Okay, good punish, good punish. Um, realizing that maybe he doesn't have a lot of time to really get a, an aerial. And this is where King DDD kind of struggles to really land that final kill. Um, the last hit, sorry. Yeah, a lot of so, a lot of his stronger moves are harder when he's in disadvantage. Ooh, and Seba just smelling fear and Fermi running all the way across, getting that grab. And he knows he knows Fermi is scared. He knows he has to be. He knows yeah. More importantly, he knows he has to overstretch, and that Gordo just gonna <laughs> pop him on the head. Somehow he ran into the Gordo. Yeah. Questionable decision there. And Seba, Personally, I would not have run into the Gordo. No, but uh, but to each his own. Seba is a very aggressive player, and. Um, he tends to not shield a lot, he likes to short hop a lot and really should tell you, hey, I'm gonna hit you. You know? Not really gonna, you. He doesn't really shield do. too much. Um, so Fermi's actually starting to camp out a little bit more. Oh, the slopes, man. Yeah, that, that's just, I don't know why he picked this map. I don't, I don't yeah, know. this was definitely a very... He must know something we don't. That's for sure. And Gordo, I don't know, man. Uh, I, don't, exactly. I don't think he knew. So a jab at the ledge is actually gonna take the stock right now. Um, Yoshi, I, oh sure. no, Yoshi Story's uh, side blast alert. Not the biggest, so a jab back here is definitely gonna call it. Ooh, trying to call it I don't that know. rising Fermit, air. Fermit has some That's pretty. Oh, oh, okay, Seba wow. choked. Seba Fermit has some up, good. He he has some good callouts that he can make. Forward tilt will take it. Yeah, that. At that the was, end of the set, Seba takes it over Fermit. Yeah, that Fermit. was just really good showing. Just solid performance from Seba. The uh, moment that Seba finally got the momentum, the momentum that he needed, he made it clear. He was not dropping this. Yeah, he just kept, you know, kept him in the in the corner. Kept DDD at, at a disadvantage, which is uh, probably one of the worst characters in disadvantage. Um, DDD, you know, it doesn't have any good out of shield options. Doesn't have his fastest move is probably what down tilt. Yep. Um, and his roll is pretty abysmal. So um, good stuff for Seba. Um, not really falling for the side tilt cheese that he was getting hit by. Finding a way around it. Good stuff. Uh, next match gonna run it up to Super Size Me and Tetsuya. Super Size Me uh, has been Size making me. some very Luis, good showings you tonight. Uh, yeah. You're player one? Okay. And this is winner's semis, right? Um, this should I think be so. winner's semis, yeah. I believe that's what I saw hold in on, the bracket. Hold on. Oh, okay. So, that's it. Oh, shoot. Oh, and I did an oopsie. I would just click the player two tag, right click at the bottom. Yeah, no, I was trying to move it back. Oh, okay. Just trying to move back a little. Super Size Me's name is too long. Yeah, Super Size Me's name is. I guess that's why we supersized him. <laughs> your, your wish has been granted, my friend. Um, I guess take I can. Out the, you make, make it smaller, smaller, or you can take out the I sensei. Make that smaller. Um, hold up. Yeah, I definitely. All right, Luis. Um, uh, your name's too long, so I'm gonna take out the sin six. I'll, I'll just put you a super size me. No, no sin six. Hold on. 
Come on, Chicos. And then is Mr. Newport. Okay. All right, y'all, y'all good to go. All right. All right. So All we right. got Super Size Me and Josh. Uh, that was more frustrating than it should have been. Indeed. And it's not one one. My bad. I should have no, said right. that. Good. Oh, so it's actually got to be zero. Yeah, zero zero. Starting off. Here. And um, super size me actually opting out for the wolf. Um, hmm, interesting. That's weird. Picks. I haven't seen him play wolf yet. He's used him a couple times in friendlies. I know he tells me that he wants to practice some more. Uh, he came over to my house. Playing heavies. Yeah, he came over to my house and he's been uh, he really liked wolf. And I agree with him. I agree that this character could benefit him. But this is exactly what makes this is the difference maker from wolf to fox uh, as far as the switch. That down smash, it's just, it's, it's nasty. It's a whole it's a lot DLC better. move, you know? Um, but on the same token, <laughs> Mac down smash is gonna, can give Wolf a hard time. Um, I definitely think Wolf is one of the more prominent, like, Mac counters in this game, just because of down smash, the gun. Yeah. Um, and just how he's able to keep, uh, you know, Little Mac in the air. Oh, that back air, crossing up uh, to he just He just has so many options that counter Mac's only way of playing, which is rush down. He has a super. He had one of the most oppressive projectiles in the game. One of the All strongest moves. down smashes in the game, if not the strongest. Yeah, and this it should can be, be a, really hard for Mac to deal his with. Down smash should be free. Okay, I definitely think he needs to space himself out a little more. You saw himself put him, uh, put Wolf right at the at the edge, making uh, Max up be just kind of tap him a little and interrupt the down smash. Ooh, walk up down smash. I think he poked, either poked or I. Josh tried to no, dodge. No, I, I definitely saw. I thought I saw Josh jab. I he definitely dropped shield. Just gonna, you know, kind of play this passive game with the gun, forward, retreating forwarders. He he has the stock lead. He has no reason to push any yeah, advantage yeah. right now. Not if he doesn't need to. Especially, oh, oh very good up smash. So, all right, so th that's a Josh special. You know, he's kind of sitting in shield, looking at you. He's like, he's gonna call your jump. Take it out with that uh, up angled F smash. Very clean stuff. Ooh, calling out that retreat. Oh, he two ledge. framed him on yeah, the ledge. That, didn't ex I don't think he expected to get it though. He didn't follow up. That and could have been an easy F smash. Please realize, you know, the momentum's kind of shifting here. I'm gonna slow it down. Oh, very scary. That's exactly uh, what he Josh needs to do, man. Mac is so strong on stage. All he needs is that little bit of momentum, and all of a sudden you're okay. dead. I definitely think that he needs to abuse the gun a little more. Oh. Oh, for sure. Oh, oh yeah. What? He, knew, There's he no didn't way. die. Wolf There's is too no heavy. Way. Wolf is a DLC character. That down smash. I'm surprised that they didn't catch him. Somehow F tilt yeah, killed. No, the, the that is definitely gonna clean up. He's like a what? Not as strong as the F smash though. No, yeah, that, well, yeah, that was pretty surprising. Um, oh, very good parry with the up tilts. So uh, Mac is actually uh, very good at parrying. Um, he can always almost. He has always a lot of strong up, and fast options smash, to punish with, with, smash, with when up he tilt. Parries. Yeah, so even uh, F smash. F smash, F tilt, or up tilt for down combos. Tilt. Down tilt oh for my confirms. God, that was a beautiful. He gets a whole parry. lot off of parries and. Some he sort took of his drop jump, yeah. input. He did down tilt, um, down angled F smash, and I'm pretty sure that took his jump. It it just did so much damage. Yeah, that that was that was nasty. Um, Josh is very skilled with Little Mac. He knows he knows his weaknesses, and he's actually really smart with the recovery. He takes a lot of advantage of all of the options Mac has now with his recovery, being able to use both specials and the air dodge. He's very good at mixing up which ones he does in what order. It's making it a lot harder for Super Size Me to take him out with him. And yeah, Super Size Me gonna stick, uh, decides to stick to Wolf. Um, I definitely think he shouldn't go for too many edge guards, like actively. I definitely think he should kind of hold stage and try to clip him with the down smash. We didn't see a mm -hmm. single kill with the down smash. Um, against the no, we did see the we did see the one kill oh, like, with the down no, smash. No, but I'm talking about like at the ledge. Oh, at the ledge. Yeah, Got at the it. ledge. Yeah, we didn't see a single one. And it's not like Mac has a whole lot he can do when he's off stage. And I definitely or on think, the ledge. I think that Super Size Me should go for a couple more F Smash and neutral. You know, kind of maybe not necessarily hit them, but just kind of threaten the idea. Ooh, he, very if good he's run scared down. of the F Smash, he's gonna hesitate, and that's exactly what Mac needs. Because yeah. once they hesitate, he can run in. Oh, down smash! Oh, just a little bit slow. I definitely think he should have gone for the that drift. Was scary. He could have just missed the ledge altogether, and if he did, he might not, he might have died for it. 
Oh, that scoop on the up smash is... Mac in the air on the platform. So, it's definitely um, not where you want to be. In that scenario, you see Josh kind of chill. Oh! oh he f tilted. That, that, was, that was a free down smash. Yeah, that was definitely a free down smash. So dropping a hard yeah. punish, and that might be all that's all that Josh so, needs to take a stock. Oh, oh my gosh! I'm Double parry somehow, super sizing me makes it out of that with the punish, and now we're seeing some ledge trapping. Definitely playing. He's playing passive now. He's waiting for the opportunity to punish anything. Super size or Josh? He's waiting for Josh to get hasty because of the lasers. He's at 172. He will die to most anything. So back throw. That back throw will definitely do it right now. Oh, for sure. Oh, oh realizing he wants to get grabbed. Oh, and, Josh and that's a kill, no Josh. Way, that, that was, that was an amazing up B. Realizing that, you know, if he's going to air dodge in that scenario, um, he's going to land on the platform with a lot of lag. Mm -hmm. So very good call out. Oh, that's that. Okay, and he's so. at 200 anyway. He's really not scared to lose the stock. He knew it was going to happen eventually. Yeah, just getting and that. Okay, it, oh, the, wor the risk was clearly worth it. He took the stock, and now we are back to an even game. Ooh, he called out that spot dodge with the forwarder. Um, and Josh is just so good with getting these confirms. Down tilt side B just feels nasty to get hit by. He's so good at just, you know, realizing when you're in disadvantage, when you want to press a button, just punishing you for it. That's, that's really Josh's, like, forte. Look at that, just and I think that's why he's so button. strong with Little Mac. He doesn't... He's, he plays like a boxer. He kind of just goes in and out of your range, punches you when you least expect it. That it was fits his play really style so well. I can't believe that killed. That was, that was I don't <laughs> think he was expecting the up B. I that think was he was the... expecting something else. <laughs> but I don't know what way he would have DI'd with what move. <laughs> with, with that, that was DI. a questionable <laughs> DI right there. We might, as well just give, we might as well just SD with that DI. <laughs> <laughs> might as well just, you know what, Josh? You, you can take that stock. And just, you know, up down for these, for these down So now folks. we have a KO punch. Oh, okay, Ooh. he rolls. We finally see a down smash. Oh, oh that was no such way. a smart air dodge. Wow, that I can't believe that. That was, oh, that was pretty sick. That, oh, that, that was a free punish. Run him, yeah, I was going to say run up F-Tilt. Might do it. Super size uh, me. I think super size me. His biggest problem right now is that he's dropping a lot he's of punishes. He's overstretching more than anything. You know, you see Josh kind of like, you know, move around, you know. I definitely think he should try to start reinstating the gun back. Uh, kind of threaten it. Maybe not like you know necessarily expect to land it. That, that counter. That just, counter hit under you know, the platform. Behind him. It was, That's the end of the set. We really forgot good. to change the score again. But Josh taking it 2-0. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play my match now against uh, Seba. Yeah, that was weird. All right, looks like we got Seba up next. Seba and Duck. So we are going to get straight into this match. Semis? Got it. Alright, good to go. Alright, so we're seeing Seva switch out from Krom to Roy here to fight the Zero Suit. I think that's exactly what he needed to do. If once he can get in, he has the sweet spots. Not to mention the practically limit cross slash that is his side B. The duck's super good with getting these combos. We're gonna have to see if Seva can answer back with some of his own. Very quick ground. Good call out on that roll. Chases him down with a forward air. So has got him off stage. There it is. Jab back air kills so early and is such a good confirm for ledge trapping. Seba taking a quick first stock. And this is what I was talking about. Duck or Seba, when he can get in close, he's got the sweet spots to do so much damage. And against Zero Suit, you're going to need all the damage you can get. 
she's very explosive. Seba, oh my gosh, there it is. Jab forwarder doesn't quite take it. But he's feeling very confident with these ledge traps. He's going to take another stock any minute now. He's completely left them. Forward air taking it mid-stage. Roy just so strong when he gets those sweet spots. But we can't count out Duck either. There it is. There's the up B. So he has two whole stocks to take. And Roy has very easy kill power. So Duck's going to have to play really well here. But knowing Duck, he has the potential to do it. He, he just gets such crazy kills sometimes. So they're, they're even in the percent so far. Here it is. We got Ledge Trap situation. Oh, Duck chokes. Chokes with his recovery. You hate to see it. Seba takes game one. With a clean two stock. Pretty rough match, first match for Alex. Let's see if uh Well I guess something's wrong something was wrong with Seba's grab button in the first game. Alright, we had a little technical difficulty with the adapter for some reason. Yeah, Seba was, uh, his combo game last, in the first game was pretty, pretty on point. Alex is going to have to turn up the heat, as he usually does. Alright, they're just doing a quick button check, and now we're back into the action. Let's see how, uh... Let's see how uh, FD changes the the pace of the game with an unfor un unfortunate SD as uh, Alex just proceeds to air dodge and die. But nope, oh, almost giving Seba in the process. But Seba saves double jump. See the, the beauty about ZSS is like you get those strings in. You can do a bunch of a per bunch of percent, or even kill your opponent at very early percent. But Roy, on the other hand, oh man, the guy is a monster. He just goes in, up airs, jab back airs. You uh, whiff something, he'll just have to kill you. All right, Alex facing that side view. Going for a dancing blade or double edge dance. Probably looking for a, a jump from Alex. And just the falling back air. Probably super fresh. Well, well, Alex, not. Nah, I feel like Alex can still do this. He'll turn it up. Yeah, it's uh, looking pretty tough, but Alex is keeping it. Oh, almost, almost gets the flip kick. But yeah, Alex is uh, doing his best to not get hit while tacking on damage, trying to kill Seba. But another flip kick miss. I feel like I'm talking like a golf commentator very low, but I don't know. 
not a bad thing. Oh no. Alright, so. This is easily doable, especially near to up smash. Look at that. 35. It's even. One conversion. From VSS. I mean, this, this, is, this is basically ultimate though. Like, characters can get mad damage off of a single conversion. Sometimes even a stop. And there, kickflip takes the game. Wow. Even though he didn't be reversed for the style, as he likes to go for. Alright, so this is game three. One one folks. With uh Seba's counter pick, not sure what it is. Hmm. Ooh, Kalos, okay. Hmm. Maybe more room to run around. Hmm. Maybe for like yeah, it makes it makes it harder for CSS to get her combos like mid stage. She's not just gonna nair you and uh you're gonna die like fifty like the previous game. Stage control is super important. Not just in this matchup, but in every every matchup in this game. See ya. Yeah, we have Seba dancing around, using all this new uh, stage to just roam free in his natural habitat. And runs up and F tilts. I guess he baited something out of Alex. Maybe a jump. But Alex firing back. A jab conversion. Alright, he just gets an air out of it. An F smash read? Oh no. These are not looking good for Alex. Oh my goodness, that was clean. Damn complete. Alright, 20, free 21%. It was Marth, he probably would have just fallen out. Oh no, I miss input. My costume dearly. Oh. Seba takes it. Hi. Do you want to commentate? No? Okay, well, you should get someone because I have to play Seba, I believe. Alright, I'm hopping off, I believe. Joey, Earth to Joey. <laughs> oh. Hey, are you in there? It's your move. Sorry, you doing this broken act it makes it difficult to concentrate no. on this mash game. Oh wait, I, I, we might be getting another Okay, that's fine. Alright, never mind. I am not hopping off. I can do commentary. Alright, we got Duck stepping back up. Versus Diago. Well, at least I only have to change one name. Oh shoot! Where's that one? All around. Can can you get me the uh, the losers top eight probably? Oh wow, we got Diego busting out his Roy. Roy Nation. Over here in El Paso, we've got... I play Roy, Seven plays Roy, Diego plays Roy. Or Torito, wherever you are, plays Roy.
So let's see, they... Oh, I forget what... Did they go to... The, yeah, they went to Pokemon, I believe. In the previous hit, uh, Alex and Seba. Yeah. Yo, we got Seba hopping on. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Yeah, honestly, but maybe just from like uh, watching you, you versus Alex. Yeah. Oh no. Well, I guess uh, Alex takes the first game. Yeah, I heard your Z button wasn't working. Uh, my, yeah, my L button wasn't working. And the next match, it kind of zoomed all over. Oh, place. okay. I was like, whoa. Oh. Alright. Now we're up to the cloud. Alright. Okay, the Elimination on. Station is charging back up again. <laughs> oh, the FD pick. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, Cloud's damage output is pretty insane, but... <laughs> like, yeah, he did, he did back air, it's cross slash, and it did 37%. <laughs> oh, I'll be out of shield. I know he mentioned he needed to use that more. Did he jab that grab? It looked like he did. But yeah, it's pretty dead even. Oh, they were both at 66%. But, okay. Oh my god. I wonder what the timer was on that because he had been sitting with that for a while. But Diego establishing. Well, it did establish stage control, but now it's just kick flips in. Like the Batman. Uh oh. Yeah. Dude, I can't believe up smash is a kill option now, as you guys said. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh no! Oh! Wow! Okay. Alright, he's got his limit. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no, no, no. Oh, this is not good. Oh, what? Wrong way. But pretty big miss him, Pledge. Oh. Yeah. Is he, oh my god, hitting ZSS is so annoying sometimes. She's everywhere, she's paper thin. <laughs> Yeah, she definitely gets a lot off of a single conversion. But, I mean, Nair and the space back air are probably the only thing safe on shield. Alright. Okay, okay, oh. Alex fly suspending himself in animation for a second there. Oh, okay. Good mix up. Oh, but he makes it back on. Oh, dude. Diego went for some risky stuff, but it actually worked. Oh, nice. yeah. ZSS just runs off and back airs, and you're like, well, what do you do? On. Oh, oh, my God, my heart. Okay, he's, he's facing. Oh. Yeah, he needs to kill him and get limit and run with it for the next stock. But with the parry into unfortunately nothing. Oh, 
Yes. Oh, being at the ledge, so it's just not a good time. No. Oh, okay, okay. This is super doable still. Yeah, that thing has a giant fucking foot hitbox. Look at that, 43. It's hard. Oh. Yeah, honestly, I'm not sure about the FD pick either. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. Like, I know he doesn't want to go to the tribots, I guess, because he says, I guess he just doesn't want to deal with the SS bullshit on Yeah. Tribots. And again, like, also the SS is really good on big stages. But I feel like, like maybe Thomas didn't even make it for Cloud 2 just because of limit. He yeah. Time to charge, he doesn't get pressed by the SS. I, I will say ZSS is like, on town when those platforms come, man, oof, it's scary. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, Bracket, who's next? Yo, who, who's the next in bracket? Oh, do you have it? Yeah. It's either uh, Chris 7X. Oh, I think Chris lost to Furman. Yeah, he got 7 place. Yeah, right now it's Furman and Super Size Me. And then... Oh, the so whenever that plays Alex. Dude. I guess we can just play our match now, honestly. Yeah, to... might as well. Yeah. Alright, we're hopping off to play. Maybe get a commentator. Are you getting a commentator? Yo, yo. What the hell? I think I'm muted. Am I good? Is it is it once? Oh, it's yours. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay cool. cool. I'm such a. So we're back. Um, <laughs> winners finals. Uh, Seven taking it over Doug, myself. Um, GG's. The three stock, so. Kind of uh, fucked me up. Yeah. Um, but Seven. Excuse me. She. She. This man's playing games, bro. This game's straight up. This man's. You think he had fucking. He must think he's like Chuck E. Cheese. Playing games with us. Oh, that was a very good back here. The Nair or Forder probably would not have taken the stock. So, very good awareness. Um, kind of forcing him to tag. And I think that's going to be very important in this matchup. Um, the drop down back air. It has such a long, lingering hitbox. Mac is just kind of a sitting duck there. Honestly, I haven't, seen, I haven't seen Shake yeah, ultimate I, yet. 
I, I've seen um, Seba's, but I've definitely seen Chris's. Oh, I've um, seen Chris's, but I mean. She's nowhere near what she used to be, I know. You know, that's kind of a. Everybody says that. But really, um, I think her game plan in this game, um, or in Smash 4, she was kind of like, you know, kind of F tilts out of shield, grabs you, whip, uh, weave in and out of your uh, range. I definitely think she can be a little more aggressive in this game, um, and she can most definitely edge guard. That's kind of her, how she's going to get most of her kills. Um, she's so good in, uh, you know, offstage. She has nair, back air, forward air, bouncing Jeez. fish. Even if she uses up her jump, she always has bouncing fish as like a, a third jump or something. Damn but, right. Uh, right now, Tetsuya while taking the percent lead. Oh, and KO Punch is on deck. Oh, oh, falling up air. Surprising, didn't do anything. <laughs> Never mind, she sucks. <laughs> And Josh still has kill punch. Um, uh, Seba not really scared of it. Still running at him, getting that grab in. Um, but you know, uh, the fearlessness kind of get, letting him uh, punch to the face. Oh, Ooh, Seba calling out that double jump. Uh, just being a little bit off. I am what? Excuse me. How? Okay. I don't know either. Yeah, <laughs> I was just talking about Sheik uh, back here being you know a very important part of this matchup. Obviously, I was wrong. Ooh. Uh, Josh DIing in to get that take. Uh, very nice. Um, and now Sheik is gonna have to pray. Um, my, if, uh, oh, gets the. Tries to go for a rolling, but doesn't get it. Um, Sebo definitely, you know, he's gonna have to really pull something out of his ass here. Um, don't expect him to stay. Uh, maybe stay in the map. I know he likes his map against map, but, uh,. Definitely not the character. Not, not the way to go. F2, not even safe on shield. Gonna get him a beat out of shield. Taking the first game. Uh, Josh up 1 0. This is 3 out of 5. Uh, it's over here for a while. Yeah, it's really fine. Oh, it wasn't updated? I thought it was. Huh, Sin 6. Sinada. Sinada. Oh. Sinada when? <laughs> when? I was just uh, kind of editing the names here. Yes, Um. Seba running it back to his tried and true main. Um, or at least arguably his tried and true main. Roy probably is just well, an Yeah. Um, so in this matchup, I feel like Roy kind of has an easier time. Um, he's kind of able to. Well, not only is he better, but he's able to threaten more space with his Nair and Fair. Um, which is more or less what she kind of wants to do, but Roy just gets so much more. Yeah, he gets more out of it. Yeah, way more. And. Um, and so Seba, not even opting out for safe pressure. He's going to say, you know what, I'm going to get on this platform, I'm going to get in your face, and I'm going to hit you. And I think Roy has a more uh, reliable kill option. Oh, you know? most definitely. Jab, um, F tail at the ledge, you know. And Roy just, he's a killing machine. I, I think this character suits uh, Seba more. Oh, what? Uh, yeah, almost definitely, yeah. Seba's really able to kind of... Uh, swing as he likes to, um, but that down smash is gonna clip uh, Roy's up. Oh, messing the turnaround. But Seba no punish, opting out for the. I'm sure, he was going for jab back here. Um, oh, very nice drop down there. That should be it. Yeah, he got the sweet spot on it pretty low. Um, gonna put him back in a very bad spot. Very nice, very nice. Um, now they're just kind of filling each other out. Seba, you know, if you notice, he hasn't really left that Pokeball in the middle. He's really holding down center stage. Um, doesn't want his back against the wall, doesn't want Mac to be able to swing on your shield and uh, turn into a little little fruit loop. So, very nice. Ooh, double jump right out of his range. Uh, you saw, huh? Fruit loop? A little fruit loop, yeah. We, we, we are renovating that. Wow, that took it. I'm surprised that killed. It, it was pretty anti climatic. It just kind of it looked like a Smash 4 KO where you just kind of float it to the yeah. fly zone. And you're like, I wonder if I'm leaving, and then I mean, start yeah, KO. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And now Josh, so this is exactly what Josh wants you. He wants you swinging. He wants to be moving around. Oh, oh, you are brave. Oh, oh. Jesus. The patience on this man, really paying his dividends. Um, was able to keep his KO punch, but uh, lost immediately. And Seba realizing, you know what, Little Mac, he's landing. What is he going to do? <laughs> he's Forward me? <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, are you going <laughs> to me? Are you going to tap me with your glove? Oh. <laughs> no, there's a good, good awareness on that F smash. You're gonna give um, a little pet on my sword? <laughs> uh, no thanks. And Josh, uh, starting this, uh, this stock much stronger than the last one. And Seba, ooh, getting the read, but uh, not turning around. Um, definitely something that a lot of players uh, seem to not like in this game, the turnaround system. It, it's a little different. The timing's a little bit off uh, in comparison to Smash 4. 
Okay. We're gonna get that one on stream. It's when it's uh, semis. Oh, I, I thought I was gonna lose you there. You thought, you thought what? I, th I thought I was gonna lose you. Lose me? Yeah, like, I thought you were gonna leave the setup. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll wait. Um, oh, wow, this is, uh, that even saw I'm surprised. The jab is gonna, oh, F2. Okay, that was a lot of baloney. You, the, the F2 was, like, not even near him. Okay, whatever. Yeah, All right, smash ultimate. Okay. So we're gonna put a, put a point on the board. Um, bring it 1-1. One, one. Now, um, for counter pick, I do believe that Mac is really good on Smash Wheel. Um, that F smash is gonna get a pretty good kill, um, and the L smash cannot reach the platform, right? Yeah, so good, good. Some uh, Mac has better maps in this in this game. Town and city, the bigger blast zone. Um, no, actually, uh, oh yeah, never mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm. Yeah, yeah. The, the yeah Smash Bill, the only one that it can reach is uh, uh Kalos. You can't reach Kalos, but I, even like uh, Battlefield, um, all the other pla all the other maps. Yeah, we're gonna play on stream. Yeah. Um, interesting pick. Um, oh. I definitely don't. That was a nice string. A little, yeah, in the beginning, 36%. Uh, I guess, I don't know, maybe Josh just wants the room from Town City's big map. Oh, there's no way. That was a perfect stock. So I would just, you know, jabbing him, not realizing that, you know, uh, Josh had about 70% unanswered, uh, realizing he's gonna pick a defensive option and capitalize on it. And Josh winning right back. Hasn't taken a hit yet. And just like that, uh, he's in the ledge exactly where he doesn't want him. Rolls right in. Uh, very nice. I believe Sebo right there was kind of hoping, uh, waiting for another roll in. You saw him kind of like hesitate a little. And Josh uh, just swinging with that down tilt. Getting him out of the corner. Ooh! And that didn't kill that. I don't know what. Maybe Sebo was <laughs> trying to. That was a very greedy uh, counter. Well, to be fair, it would have been good in that situation. I mean, he was going aggressive yeah. and... He was uh, on the left side. He would have gotten him off stage. Yeah, but I mean, it would have been good like, get off me to like, an extra damage. Yeah, definitely. And it would have been a, a wild card. It would have definitely caught Josh slipping. And Seba just... I really don't know how he took that slide. Well, he took it without air, but... Uh, he just kind of did it to him, you know? Yeah, he's uh, like... Gonna play the down, t down smash lottery. Not gonna get anything. Oh, realizing he's gonna jump in just a little bit off on that F smash. Actually, I think he would have been fine, but I, I think it was a uh, good awareness on Seba's part going over, like over the, the smash attack. Yeah. And but um, yeah, good awareness on Seba, but Josh also, uh, you saw him angle the uh, F smash up, so it definitely looked like he was ready. I'm just gonna clean that up with a quick F tilt. One of uh, probably his most reliable way to kill besides like up at a shield. I agree. So. I Very concur. Nice There's dude. Only Inigo is leaving and Cho. And Pretty who? Cool dudes. Ch uh, Inigo and Cho? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, not, even, not caring <laughs> anything about that F smash. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's like, you know what? With the dash attack. <laughs> he's like, stop that boy. Yeah, and that's a very oh. uncharacteristic thing of Josh. Um, Josh is known uh, for his very passive and reserved playstyle. Uh, just kind of saying, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta do it. In the swing. Oh, that counter. Okay. Okay. There's no. What? That was, that was just crazy. I, I can't like, believe that. That's some level nine CPU stuff right there. <laughs> Whoa, the dash attack. Oh, and now so so you see Josh. So here's what Josh is really good at. Josh stands here. So look, they're playing neutral. Once he gets you on the ledge, he's gonna be a wall, and he's gonna say, "All right, you're gonna run at me. I'm gonna down to you. You're gonna jump over me. I'm gonna just move a little. I'm up to. Oh yeah, Seven. <laughs> Seba was on something else, man. He is that was a good read. He definitely knew it. You know what? You're out of resources. You're landing on me. You're scared. I'm gonna clean out the stock with this quick dash attack. Surprisingly he didn't go for an F tail. The Seba special. So I'm gonna see where he's gonna go. I, I I really don't agree with the town and city pick. Um I definitely think that the the platforms don't really help him. And the big map, um, it benefits both characters equally. Um, I think it benefits Mac a little more. I mean, not Mac, uh, Roy. Because Roy, if Roy's, you know, kind of jumping around, weaving, he gets more out of neutral interactions than Mac, you know? Yeah. Um, we're going to run it back to Town and City. Uh, to be fair, it did look like Newport was coming back on that. Oh, yeah. That's just... 
That's just new poor man. Yeah. Okay, so back to what I was saying. He's a wall. So look, look at him. He, he didn't really move forward right there. He short hopped, you know, trying to throw him off a little. Immediate land up tilt. So once he has stage control, um, he wins neutral. He really pushes his, his advantage state. He's very good at knowing, you know, my opponent wants to do this here, and I'm gonna punish it. You see, kind of just stays. Doesn't really give up stage control. Rolls right back. Um, doesn't overstretch. Sebo just has to go for a short hop in there, and Josh is just all over it. And this is really solid. This is reminiscent of Smash 4 Mac, actually. Um, this is how kind of Josh played back in Smash 4. Um, oh, saying, you know prayer. what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Running it right back into ultimate. That's true. Very good poke with the up tilt. Um, actually turning around and doing getting hit with the backwards hit box, so no, he doesn't get punished. Um, and that's something that Josh definitely needs to look out for. He's gotten hit by F throw jab uh, back here like, what, three times already? And back to what I was saying, just kind of waiting for him to overstep. Gonna get hit him with the uppercut, clean up the, th uh, the stock. Uh, Josh really just kind of slowing down the pace of the game. You know, always kind of retreating, you know. Very, very smart. Like a real boxer, you know? Oh, surprised we didn't see the dash attack there. <laughs> I thought they were both gonna I def yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely thought we were gonna see something there. So I actually want to ask you, so if you were in Josh's shoes... That was like the most limp up smash yeah. I've ever seen. That was a smash 4 up smash. Oh, calling out the, <laughs> job, the double jump. Okay, retreating back. And these platforms just seem to be like an obstacle for Josh. Um, it kind of... Oh. There's no way. Okay, yeah, that definitely is not gonna take game. It was close. Maybe <sighs> looking like Smash Four Town and City taking the stock at ninety percent. I miss that. I don't. Actually, I do. See, it says ladder combos, <laughs> and you miss it because of your dumb up to my frame three up to it's, my yes, frame sir. one invincible Shoryuken. Yes, sir. Hey, say, uh, how come you don't do that anymore? How come you don't uh, up to Shoryuken anymore? Going back to the match. Uh, <laughs> Having a little bit of a character crisis. Uh, <laughs> my man's here. Uh, dropped Ryu. Even though Ryu's still good. I didn't drop Ryu. You dropped Ryu. Okay, he's bolted. That's another thing. He's what? <laughs> he's bolted. He's bolted? <laughs> <laughs> he might come out in 3.0. <laughs> We're waiting on 3.0. <laughs> um, Alright, we'll, we'll. Back to the match. Um, Josh really up to. Excuse me. Excuse me. That was nutty. That was nutty. <laughs> Backwards hit of up tilt, back air, reading the tech rolling with side B. Um, Aer so Aerial Mac. Aerial Mac. Aerial Mac. Got the, the Air Jordans. This is a pretty good set. It is. Um, there's a lot of adaptation on Mr. Newport's part. Seba um, was kind of running the same game plan that he kind of does, you know, um, uh, kind of making you feel like suffocated with your aggression and Josh finding a way to stop that. It's going to be interesting to see how uh, Seba's going to find a way around. Um, Josh is kind of like counter punch style. Oh man, those keys hanging off of his shirt are making me so anxious. What? Oh man, his keys hanging off of his shirt make uh, me so anxious. I just want to pull it off. I, I do too. <laughs> like man. this. Someone tell us who's gonna tell us something. <laughs> hey Josh, those go in your pocket. Running <laughs> 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 it to game five. Um, Yoshi's story. I. <laughs> okay, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure if Seba chills on the left side of the, or you know, on the, on the, like to the outside of the map on the platform, I don't think he can get hit. I, uh, I believe so. the tilt is, you know, enough to where Mac can really hit him. And if, oh wow, and if that's true, that's gonna be really important. You know, uh, Seba's gonna get some free, uh, like a free get out of joke card. He's gonna be able to chill there, maybe re re uh, regenerate his, uh, his shield. I can see that. Oh. Down angle F smash. Oh no! What? That was explosive. He really chased him after that F smash. Oh, I believe you were just about to commentate how he should have gone for a regular F smash, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Uh, but Josh saying, listen, I'm gonna down tilt him and he's gonna die. And just as I was saying, you know, you, you see him dash dancing back. Spacing out of that uh, nair, I definitely think that Seba should use a little bit more um, like standing options. Um, oh, that, so that gave me chills. <laughs> so, oh my god, that that's just you gotta just respect did that. You see that his was, face? That, yeah, that was. Did you see Max's face? face? Yeah. It was like <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he was about to. <laughs> oh my god, that, that that needs to be patched out, man. That what? Roy's OB against the ledge is janky. 
Like, well, I mean, not, that was kind of whatever, but have you seen that clip where uh, I think it's a peach? And he hits it with Obi into the ledge, and he just got evaporated and died at like 0%. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't see. Yeah. I don't think it's, it it's, it's a weird hitbox. I don't think it needs to be patched out. <sighs> Excuse me, that the sword clanked with a fist and had more lag? Alright. Oh, like, uh, Sebo. You should be aware that's yeah, gonna Sebo, happen off stage. Uh, with the down tilt, um, I'm not too sure if Sebo has anything to punish besides Obi out of shield. Um, but then that's kind of a... Oh, oh! That was... Did you see that? That was a Matrix! He like jumped over him and direction or dodge down. And, you know, <laughs> he's not that's even gonna care. Sport. Gonna kill punch, taking it over him, 3-2. Um, it, it was a... You know, it was a two-stock, but it wasn't It wasn't so far that kill punch taking a pretty early stock. Um, it was... I definitely think Seba should have like used more standing options, like I said, more standing there. Use more down tilts for sure to poke. He was landing into a lot of his uh, smash attacks. Yeah, and up tilts. He kept landing on that. And it was just, you know, Seba kind of overstretching. Uh, he's used to, he, he loves pressing buttons, you know, kind of hitting his opponent and really getting on his face. Josh, very good at uh, not getting hit in the face. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> just, and getting in your face. Yeah, and getting back in your face. <laughs> it's just like, So I'm going to go play my match against Luis now. That should be winner sem loser semis. Yep. So I'm going to hop off. Uh, I'm going to call him in. will be in good hands here with Lego. Oh. Oh, yeah, no, you're about to hop off too? No, I'll watch. I'll, I'll, watch. I'll commentate. You can hop off if you want. I'll, I'll, commentate. You okay. I'll commentate. I won't be a good commentator, but I'll commentate. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, oh. <laughs> No, I know. <laughs> I just like. <laughs> That's scary. Okay, well. Gotta reset the scores now. Mm. Now we just wait and see who's. Uh, Then right now we're gonna have uh, James and Duck playing a quick little friendly. While Super Kai's me is getting to the setup. My man Super Kai's me having a long name going off the board. Why? Maybe I should just drink it. Ah, I'll just drink it. There you go. And that is it. Oh, I won't commentate till the actual match starts. Are you serious? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> We're irritating. <laughs> I'm gonna be on Eat Smash. We're irritating. Top 10 salty. Uh, top 10 rage quits. I do. I didn't rage quit. I just wanted the game to end already. You know, like I was like, you know, my Roy's not doing good. You know, I just want to switch the cloud as me as as fast as possible. Who are you playing? I was playing Roy I against so. Alex. Uh huh. Yeah, I didn't look up. I, I didn't get to practice him all day. Plus, oh. I know this is John's, but I have not slept yet. <laughs> it, it really do be like that sometimes. It really do though. be like that. But you know what doesn't be like that? Game Super one. Super size me versus Doug. I haven't seen this, this in a while. It's going to be amazing. I don't know how to switch this the thingy. Oh, everything's already uh, ready. Nah, dude. It's not winning finals, though. Oh, that's true. This is loser semis. Okay. Uh, right there. Round number? There you go. <laughs> Leave it like that. <laughs> 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 leave it like that. Uh, yeah, just leave it like that. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, lose it. So, anyways, whoa. Oh my god, what the heck? Um, you kicked him. Do I, to be fair, Doc was getting a phone call. <laughs> oh, true, true. I remember Luis was talking about how like he was practicing with Alex and that Alex was smacking them every friendly. That's true. You know I, what? Yeah, I remember that. He'd get on Discord and be like, you know what, Alex, I'm going to come for you one of these days. Oh, that was so good. Good option coverage. Oh, hmm. I'm surprised he didn't make it back. I don't think you should have directional air dodged because he had no jump. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I could like to go for those, like, up smashes to catch landing. It's pretty good, and it kills. Oh my god! Ah, and he's dead. Jeez. He's dead. <laughs> I, 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 you looked away and he died. Yeah, I looked away because I wanted to see that phone. He did like forward air to like tech chase, down air to down B. On jaw. On jaw. On jaw said on Troy. <laughs> 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 Does he have a jump? He's oh, he, he lost his jump. Oh, never mind. I was gonna ask for the phone. <laughs> I was like, let me see it. <laughs> Give me your phone. Because <laughs> he's just gonna keep getting those. The African American kid, where he's like, oh, oh, well, reverse flip. They like just they're just throwing punches, dude. Yeah, they're they're just going at each other's faces. <laughs> oh. He walked. He, he, he walked. literally just walked. He like, literally just walked like, like, like a, like a, like a dominant male, just <laughs> <laughs> like a, do like a Chad. All right, Doug's gonna get his phone call. This is the only phone call he will get. This is the only lifeline he'll get. <laughs> <laughs> the only lifeline. <laughs> My dad chooses C. Dude, take a picture. That's Diddy incarnate. <laughs> What is oh. Pichu? <laughs> I'll take broken characters for 200. <laughs> this character has an amazing down smash that kills at 4%. What is Wolf O'Donnell? <laughs> <laughs> what is Wolf O'Donnell? <laughs> Jeopardy smash. <laughs> <laughs> this move is now the, the strongest back throw. It's like what is Incineroar's back throw? Tiers, low tiers for 100. You ain't no air fighter. <laughs> What is Lomac? <laughs> what is Lomac? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, Lila. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting back to the match. Back to the match. Hi. Uh, I want to see. And he's uh, at 36 already. What was that fair up to? Yeah, dude. I think Super Size Me has been doing a lot more like buffer jump uh, aerials instead of like landing aerials because like Zero Suit Samus is really good at zone breaking. Well, uh, shoot the gun. Shoot the gun. <laughs> they both have guns. Yeah, dude. Shoot the gun. If you could have one of their guns, which gun would you have? Wolves. You would have. You yeah, would like wolves. I think I like wolves, dude. It looks pretty cool. It's fucking annoying. Can imagine, imagine fox with wolves gun. Dude, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, gracias. Uh, oh, oh, is man. he dead? Oh, Good no. DI. Yeah. That looked whack. Oh. oh. Yeah. Dude, that surprisingly doesn't have a lot of lag when you like when you don't run into it like face down. 
Doesn't have a lot of lag. What are you talking about? The LP? Oh. I know, like, Wolf has some pretty sick stuff, like, you could do shine, and then jump, and then, like, immediately up B, and then, like, the projectile hit him back, and then the up B would combo into the projectile. Uh, and that's gonna Ooh, take wow. the stun. Nice. I'm so surprised how Super Saiyan maybe was able to get under Duck's up smash with his own up smash and kill him. <laughs> yeah, that was... That was pretty... That was cheeky. Dude, Wolf's, Wolf's up smash is like, it scoops you, dude. He's like, bro! It's like the, the, the Tostitos uh, salsa, the scoops, you know? The, <laughs> the Tostitos scoops? <laughs> the, those are, that's the Tostitos chips, you know, the, the ones where you scoop? On jaw. Dude, yeah. <laughs> on jaw, those, dude. Those are the best scoops. On Gekum? On Gekum, man. Dude, I'm gonna I'm I'm get that kid's force kid. <laughs> <laughs> dude, sell it on my. <laughs> Uh, nuts. I saw this video where oh what? God, I, was I saw this video where this guy's acting out as like the little brother and the older brother, and then oh, he, yes, dude. and then he was like uh, he's playing the little brother and the little brother's like give it back, and then the older brother's like ah you can't get it uh, it's mine, and then the mom comes in the room and then she's like what are you guys doing just give it give it what did he take away from you and then the little brother's like he took away my foreskin, <laughs> and then the mom's like all right give him back his his what? What did he take from you? And then, and then the, it shows the older brother, and then he's like, "Oh, this, this shit's mine now." And then he puts it in his mouth and bites it. And like, oh, dude, and as like, gross. Whoa, 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 that's not as gross as that combo. But you know, he makes it back anyways. Wolf's living. I thought I thought he was gonna die to be honest. I thought so too. I, I didn't think he was gonna make it back. Duck is just like super good at like pressuring you in the corner and like. Until you make a mistake to get back uh, center stage, and he's probably dead. Oh wait, nope. Uh, oh, oh we, we SDI the eye boys. Schmoll to me. Moving, dude. Oh, okay. Imagine. Oh, oh, catching. No. I don't say like role. like he's like side B and then killed him. What? That's it? Oh yeah, that's it. Two off. Wow. Oh, was Two it? I love best of threes and top eight. Me too. You know why we have we have best of three in top eight? I have no idea. Cause we we uh, this tournament's pretty late. Yeah. It's, uh, it's <laughs> on schedule. It's ten forty right now. Yo, I'm starving, dude. What are we what are we doing for foodie? It's a sign. Yo yo. <laughs> yeah, it's a sign. <laughs> yo, ja yo, back in the box. Back in the box. Back in the box. Back. Did I ever tell you the time like back when I went to Hyro Saga? I I was with what? Do I get in the money? Yeah, you do. You're in the you're in the money. Oh, dude, I miss mm -hmm. Black Ops. <laughs> yeah, me too. Did I ever tell you like I almost died at in a Jack in the Box uh, in uh, SoCal in Long Beach with AZ people? No. <laughs> yeah, I was okay. So I was rooming with like AZ people, and they were like, we were hungry, and it was like late at night, and we we're like, let's just get Jack in the Box. So like, I was in their car and stuff, and the drive-through was long, dude. Really? And we heard we heard like, pow, pow, you know, like. Like, like gunshots. Oh fuck! And we're like, at first I was like, "Ah, that's gotta be fireworks, right?" <laughs> oh, and like, fuck. cause like we don't experience, you know, yeah, this stuff like type that. of stuff in El Paso. Yeah, we're we're the you know we're the number one safest uh, city. <laughs> safe, uh, no, the number one most dangerous city according to our president. Even oh. though it's clearly nothing happens in this town, but uh, so no, that I, was it was definitely because he's trying to give us clout. Yeah, it was definitely gunshots and uh. Uh, we were like in the middle of the drive through right? Like we couldn't like back out, we couldn't like... <laughs> we were in the middle, we were, we were like, we were basically... You are in between we cars? Fine. Huh? You are in between cars? Yeah, we were in between cars and like, it was finally our time to order. <laughs> Dude, and Coco was like... He's like, hi, welcome to Jack and Box, may I take your order? And Coco's like... Yeah, there are people shooting outside, uh, <laughs> call the cops right now. Like, like, right now. And then like the lady's like, like dead silence, dude. Just just <laughs> silence until like a minute. Yeah. And she's like, "What do you guys like to order?" <laughs> and then Coco just like proceeds to order, and, and we made it out alive. Dude, the cops came too. Really? Yeah. Damn. That's all. It, it was serious. Long Beach is kind of sus. Sus. Yeah, <laughs> sus. Anyway, this match. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, it's a baby yeah. taking the first time. It's a baby taking the first <laughs> Oh, shoot. Oh, wait, no, this ain't losers, Sam Was that me? This ain't losers, final son. Oh, that was me. Oh. Oh, I can control the volume with my... With my little... Doohickey here. 
<laughs> dude, they should like never have us, <laughs> never have us on the screen. Dude. That's true. Yeah, this, this, <laughs> this finals, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, I only got one final. I only got one final. Anyways. Anyways, going back to the match. Yeah. Uh, both had two stocks. Dude, uh, was swinging that sword. Yeah, but he has a percent lead. He's dead. He's not dead. What? Uh, once? Okay. It's the beginning of what? ultimate, so punish game is not gonna be the best. Oh wow, good parry, good parry top. So it's true. Super fast. I prefer Dr. Pepper. Dude, it's a sign. Dude, barbecue coat. I would have too. That shit's cursed. Dude, who the hell? Who the hell says Dr. Pepper's barbecue coat? Dude, that's that's cursed as fuck. Hey, did you see that tweet by Chips Ahoy? Where like they had the whole like box, uh -huh. and they just poured milk in the box. Oh what? Yeah, it was like, oh yeah, we're gonna eat Chips Ahoy St. Louis style, and I was like, <laughs> I can't tell if this is like 3,000 IQ or if it's a cursed tweet. I saw one where it was like a uh, <laughs> Oreo rice. Oh, <laughs> dude, no, no, it was yeah, yeah, that was that's <laughs> disgusting, dude. <laughs> I was making me. I was making out. I don't understand if it was like a, like, like a arroz con leche. You ever had oh, that? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh shit. He is. He is dead. He is dead. <laughs> he got hit by Fortune and he died. He died. Dude, shout out to the black fake. <laughs> nah, dude, that wasn't even the black fake. That was that was Bam. Bam says that. I could care less about Bam. I, you're being, I'm shouting you're being out the racist. black plague. You're being racist, what? dude. How? You, you confused? No. E, e, <laughs> no. E, e and TK Breezy for Bam. No. How? Just kidding. They're all the black plague. Are you serious? I thought it was just TK Breezy no, and No, I don't e. know. I'm, I'm joking. Oh. I'm making that stuff up. Anyways, uh, game one going to Sababy. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Actually... I, I don't even know how to spell Man. that. I would have put it, but I don't know how to spell it. You should get like oh, cool. uh, Anja. Anja. I should I should have practiced my Roy for this tournament. Honestly, I was like, I was like, Shorter told me to pick up Roy. I'm just gonna use him, and it didn't work <laughs> out. <laughs> Shorter told me so. So I, I'm 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 just gonna go ahead and do it. I mean, I just wanted to try it out, but of course, I hate to admit it, Seb is the better Roy. <laughs> Even though I don't even like practice Roy as much as him. It really be like that sometimes. Yeah, like I can't believe but I can't believe the character I don't practice is <laughs> I can't believe the character I don't one. practice isn't as good as said other player with said character. Damn. It really do be like that. Yes. Damn. Well um Dude, I was confident that I was gonna like make it to like Lucha's finals. Cause I was like Dude, I'm making this run. <laughs> but then, like, Alex was like, Nah. Go Roy. <laughs> and I'm like, Oh, okay. Well, he didn't say go Roy, but, you know. Yeah. We, when I looked in his eyes, his eyes <laughs> said go Roy. His eyes said For go no Roy. For no reason. He, he, his eyes said, go ahead. Go ahead, yeah. Loose. <laughs> and then Take you're like, you're like, Anja? Anja. Anja. Oh, oh, word? My cloud was kind of moving. Just kind of. Yeah, you, I, I wholeheartedly believe you have the cleanest cloud. Yeah. Right now, I'm trying. I'm trying to solo mate him, but then there's matchups like Pichu and then like Lucina, and I'm just like, bro, sound effect number two. Bro, sound effect. <laughs> I, I still haven't gotten a, like a, a main. I'm leaning a lot towards Ganon, but that can only get me so far. I honestly think Ganon. Oh my god, and he lived. Wow, dude, watch him make this back because you're saying ultimate. What? what? Oh, yeah, I, I think Ganon's like actually viable in this game. So go ahead, do Ganon. I went against Rose Cloud and I was like, this is Smash 4 all over again. I can't, oh, yeah, I it's, can't. It's kind of bad. Yeah, I can't get in. I played Mate? Dude, that guy like surprised me how like how he got better. He kind of like, he beat me, he beat me at Lucina and I was like. Oh, yeah, they told me, they told me they win game three. I was like, I, I, I'm done. I was like, I don't lose again in Smash 4, but this is ultimate. <laughs> but this is ultimate, so I'll, I'll take it. And I went cloud, and I was just like, nah, nah, it, it still, it wasn't good for him. Yeah. Nah, yeah. I, I was like, <sighs> Smash 4 all over again. It's Smash 4. 
I just got like game three. I got PTSD from that. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually try to commentate. <laughs> <laughs> now that it's game three. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's gonna watch this, honestly. <laughs> uh, that's true. Dude, like the I look back at my vods, but not for my actual gameplay. Only when I commentate. <laughs> no, so only I can't like improve my commentating. <laughs> yeah. But like eh, at this point, no, eh, it doesn't matter. I mean, it, it, you can it's have fun. Bad. Right now, it's pretty late. But it'd be 11. Yeah. Oh, dude, you tried to back air. Dude, Alex? Alex would have been tight if you got hit by the back air. I would have been tight. I'm surprised the parry goes throughout the whole, like, multi hit. Because mm -hmm. you know how he's there? And then he parried the Zare. I'm surprised, like, the Zare didn't keep going. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Is it still a multi hit? Zare? Yeah. No, nah, I think it's, it's like a one hit thing. Oh. You're thinking like Samus is there. Zeus is like one hit and then just like retreats. It's just like limp noodle? Yeah, wet noodle. Uh, Flaccid. You know what I've done? A B suicide. I have skank. <laughs> With Roy. Oh my god, that was such a good like jump call out. Surprised he didn't die. That back row was pretty fresh too. Yeah. And it was close to the ledge. When he when he when he got hit with that backer. <laughs> and all he heard is good. All he heard was like <laughs> Duck is good. Yeah there. He's pretty solid. I think he's the he's definitely the best DSS I've played. And yeah. Until I play Mars. Until you play Mars? Yeah. I mean well Alex does I mean Duck does watch Mars. He does. Like I bet like if we well, not on this laptop. But on on his on his laptop, did you get into the search history? That's just like recent. On Josh. On Josh. On Josh. On, on Prey. <laughs> dude, I talked to AZ at the uprising yeah. tournament. He had like a do rag, dude, and we we're like, we we're like, oh, wave check, wave check. And wave he's check. Like, he's like, it's not a wave, but like, it, I still got some stuff, so he takes it off. And dude, he has, he has the fucking jaws, dude. Really? The jaw heads, you know the the what's it called? I don't even know, like you know his hairstyle. He has his hairstyle. The dreads? Yeah, the dreads. Yeah. The jaw heads, dude. Yo, Az's a real homie. Yeah, he's really cool. Shout out to him, dude. I hope he watches this uh -huh. someday. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna send him this vod. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> send just send him the clip for <laughs> you. Send him the clip, yeah. <laughs> Dude, his, his Ryu is so sick. I like his Ryu. I miss it. Yeah, I miss Ryu. Low key. Even though, like, I got, <laughs> I got body in my Ryu a lot, I miss him. Hey, wait, nah, I did good, like, the first half of, like, Smash 4 against Ryu, and then, like, last half, like, I got tired of playing gay. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> oh, dude. It was just. Ryu and Cloud was not a fun matchup. Dude, that's why I don't play Lucina in this game that much, because I, I just got, like,. I got tired of playing gay. Or lame. I'm not homo. Uh, phobic. Folk, homo. Uh, yeah. Homo. Yeah. Homo. Homo erogenous. <laughs> <laughs> homo erectus. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? What? what? I. All right. Game. Game three. The Sababa. To be fair, I think it would have traded. Oh, my Ryu slapped you, dude. <laughs> that was the first time I picked up Ryu. Wait, I, no, that wasn't the first time. That was like... I remember you were like, oh, I'm, I'm looking into Ryu yeah, at dude, Gamer's Ryu Dungeon. I was like, okay. He is. I, I, I'm pretty sure I used him like once in attorney, and I'm pretty sure I've won. But that's probably against like some scrub. <laughs> that they don't have to like I deal am. with up tilt on the ledge. Do I... Does that even work anymore? That doesn't work, huh? Up tilt no. on the ledge? That sucks. Why the fuck... Why did they ruin your Ryu? You know what I missed? I missed uh, when people didn't know how to smash the eye. Yeah. And you would up tilt like across the whole stage oh, and then up tilt. Dude, Fox. <laughs> dude, if Ryu was so good in this game, Fox would, Fox mains would have a hard time. <laughs> They'd be like, dude, <laughs> nah, dude, Wolf mains would have a hard time. Ryu would be like a hard counter to like spaces. The spaces, yeah. But guess what? He's not. He's okay. Yeah, he's alright. He's alright. Ken, he's alright. Unpopular opinion, but Ryu's better than Ken. Ryu's better. Yeah, I've been like, 
At first, everyone was like, Ryu's better than Ken, and then it was like, Ken's better than Ryu, and now it, it's, it just went back to Ryu's better than Ken. I think I can believe it now. I'll, I'll always stand for you. Dude, everyone was like hyped because it was like, oh shit, Ken, Ken has all this stuff, he has double Nair, and then like, they looked at his like Shoryu and how like people fall out and all that stuff, and then they're like, oh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know why Ken, dude. Uh -huh. Ryu? <laughs> He seems like <laughs> Ryu uh, is Ken who? Ken? <laughs> you all hear something? Yeah, <laughs> y'all hear something? <laughs> Dude, I wish we were. <laughs> Dude, this would be perfect if we were commentating a Ken match or a Ryu match. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what? Nah. Yeah. Yo, people overreacted and thought that ZSS was bad in this game at the beginning. Yeah. Nairo's like. Unviable. Unviable. Well, not, I don't think he said unviable, but I'm pretty sure he was like, this character ain't the same. Uh, I'm done. This is looking rough. Yeah, I was like, yeah. <laughs> really getting into it. Oh, wow, that was a good text case. Jeez, dude. We need a duck stock. We need, we need to hit him and take the stock, and then a duck stock, and then another one. <laughs> a duck stock? Uh, two in a row. Two duck stocks? I believe. I believe. He does some sick stuff. Two jaw stocks? And, and two jaw stocks. We're two gonna call him that. You know, zero to death? Nah. <laughs> jaw stocks, dude. Jaw stocks. <laughs> <Jaw. laughs> dude, he's dead. Oh, is this. Oh, I was gonna say, is this a jaw stock? <laughs> dude, it could be. I, I, I don't know what the heck was that. I believe. Dude, he got like a. He got like a sour spot in the middle of the sword. Did you see that? That was weird. Word. Oh no, he is definitely gonna make it. Dude, Cloud can't make that from that. I hate that so much. Cloud cannot? Yeah, he can't make it. He can make it with Limit, but not nah, fucking regular. And I guess Roy can either. I'm pretty sure Krom can though. That was a draw stock, dude. Dude, that was a. <laughs> 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 Cross talk's actually just an SD. <laughs> wait, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's good. I thought he was gonna do it. This could be a draw stock. Nah, nah, Seba's, nah, Seba's using Barry too much. It was a. Wait, wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Oh my. This is close. This is scary. What? What the heck? Dude, they're going. This is, this, is, this is all the marbles we're doing. Why are you back on? No. <laughs> oh, I, I, I can't even. Oh, I can't even commentate. Oh, no. He didn't oh. do the. He didn't do the punch, punch variation. <laughs> oh. Dude, that backer completely missed. ZSS problems. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so happy that hits from like the ground now. Oh my god. Damn. No way. He just f tilted. He f tilted. He pressed the C stick button. I think. I just you have tilt stick? You have tilt stick? Y'all hear something? <laughs> Y'all hear, hear something? <laughs> Alright, so grand finals <laughs> on my way. Wow, a little wreck? A main? What? What in the world? What? <laughs> we see this every week. Trust me. Trust us guys, we don't we don't suck. Trust. Once? Once Tetsuo travels People will see the light of Lomac and probably still put him at the worst character. Yeah, they're gonna be like, just edge guard and I don't think he's the worst. I think Kirby's the worst. Kirby doesn't have kill punch. <laughs> Kirby doesn't. <laughs> Sad. Sad percent. Tetsuya Hyper Omega Wall. <laughs> Dude, no, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Mr. Tetsuya. <laughs> Hyper Omega Wall. Gigi's Doug. Omega. Ah, uh, no, I probably should not talk to him. He lost. Now you know how I feel when I lost you. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. It took the whole. Uh, maybe I'll. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Just leave it like that. <laughs> Wait, I'll take off that percent. <laughs> Mr. Tetsuya, hey, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. He beat him in winners. Oh my god, what the heck was that grab? That was. That was like Marth melee grab range. He has KO Punch. But there, there are no like, there's no links to that. I think he's just gonna kill normally. He doesn't, he doesn't need the KO punch. There we go. I made it fit. 
somehow. <laughs> it's, 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 really hopefully, <laughs> hopefully everybody can see Mr. Newport's uh, grand yes, name. Do. Oh, never mind. I use Yo, why did they nerf the side view for Lil Mac? Like, on the grounded version? He doesn't go as far as he did in Smash 4. They did? Yeah, remember he like, used to go like, whoosh. But like, he just goes whoosh. Nah, nah that was a big nerf. It was fast too. It was like hella fast. It's, it's kind of fast in this game. Ah, someone's calling me. Better not answer them. Oh, word. That David Arizola? Die? Oh, on jaw, that's gonna kill. I gotta stop. Uh, I'm gonna tell him. Right, right now, it looks like, like uh, Seba like, has the uh, yeah, well, percent lead on the same stock, and now he has the percent and stock lead. I will Mr. Newport bring it back? I didn't even bring him back. Find out yeah. next time on the next episode of Sunshine Grand Finals Exam. <laughs> I think it's it. That's it. It's over. Split. I don't know. Sunshine, the Grand Finals Exam arc. Yo, I never got to like split like the prize money in Grands. When I get to Grand Finals, gonna I'm gonna do that. You're gonna split I'm it. Split. You're gonna be like, you wanna split it? And then Watch it be Seba and be like, no. Nah, do your free. I could be too. <laughs> I bet you if I was playing against Louise, he'd definitely split it. I can see that happening. Yeah, I can see that. He'd be like, yeah. Let's play a few matches and then split it. He'll, he'll probably be like that. Oh, wow. This is actually even. Oh, not, not anymore. <laughs> Catching that jump with that upwards angle F smash. Oh, dude. Oh, wow, he lost a stock. Mm hmm. You think he's gonna uh, make it back? Whoop! Several jumped and then. And then Josh did an upwards angle. Should not be safe on shield. I don't know what Sakurai was on. I don't know what Bandai Namco was on. Namco Namco Nam Bando? Namco Bandai. Namco Bandai? But, uh. Namco Bando? Banco Nam Everyone was, like, talking about in Smash 4 how it was, like. Roy can only be a good character if he has insane shield pressure. He can't play safe because the tippers suck. And then like Bandai, Bandai Namco was like, Oh, I, oh, oh like oh, on, on John? On John? On like, like that's what you guys want? Like, is that oh. what you want? Here you go. And Ultimate. then Roy became like a, a truck. <laughs> a truck. Yeah, he's a truck. What is Krom? Krom? Semi? He kinda hits, yeah, he kind of hits like a truck too, dude. I miss, oh. Ryu still kind of hits like a truck, but I remember that reference for Ryu. Like, dude, yeah. he just hits like a truck. Dude, like when you get hit by like Roy's like sweet spots and like Krom's just sword in general, it sounds it sounds meaty, dude. Yeah, it's just like Ugh. when you get hit by like fucking Lucina's, and it's just like <laughs> like like just, yeah, what, it's like like what even is dude? No, you get hit by Meta Knight's sword. I hate Meta Knight sound effects in this game. This is so lame. Bro, man, the night sound effects. Oh my god, what the fuck? He just did it, and he's dead. <laughs> Wait, no, he's not. Why did I think he died? I wow. Star KO, maybe. Who decided it was a good idea to give us running smash attacks? <laughs> like, <laughs> some developers, like, ah, oh, you know what? I, he, he kept coming up with the John. Like, ah, oh, dude, I was trying to do running up smash. And the guy's like, you can't do that. <laughs> and dude, then he's like, yo, but Lil Mac is so good, and Wolf too. Like, you just, fuck, you just do it, dude. It's yeah. like, it's crazy. Bro, why does Bowser have Wolf F smash? I mean, why Wolf does... down smash. Yeah, why does Bowser have Wolf down smash? Dude, why is why is Bowser Giga Giga Wolf? <laughs> Giga. <laughs> and Wolf, wolf is a uh, tiny Bowser. Wolf is a uh. Whoa, he crossed the Bowser Jr. <laughs> oh. Yo, I saw Pixels Bowser Jr. at the Uprising tournament. It is sick, dude. I'm sad, you know, because, like, no Ryu, but still. Yeah, Pixel was a good Ryu. Yeah, he was hella good. But now he's a hella good a Bowser Jr. slash Falco. Let's go. It's Falco slaps. Let's go uh, switching mains. Oh, yeah. Sure. 
That's weird. Bowser Jr. is a weird pick to like. <laughs> to switch off from from Ryu. <laughs> yeah, it seems like a worse pick than Ryu. Nah, that was that was a good reaction. The, the Shotos, they're they're in shambles, dude. <laughs> now I think about it. The Shotos? Yeah, like Ryu and Ken. Oh. Uh. Like, damn, dude. I can't believe everyone really fucking dropped them. <laughs> Besides, like that one Ken main from like Dallas. Um, uh, there was a. Funny meme I saw where it's like Smash 4 Ryu mains when Ultimate comes when Ultimate came out and they saw all the changes the the characters had and then it's it's uh it's Andy holding Woody and he's oh. like I don't want to play with you anymore. Me with Mars. To be fair, if if we were to go back to Smash 4, I would go back. Yeah, but. Honestly. I had a good time in Smash 4, not gonna lie. There was some stupid stuff like, you know, Bayonetta. Cloud was kinda dumb. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like... I concur. <laughs> yeah, it was fun to play, though. <laughs> fun to play as, as not against. Not against. <laughs> nah, that didn't matter to me because I used Mark. <laughs> Imagine being on the other end of that... Oh, that... Behemoth of a sword. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Just getting smacked. It's a rough life. <laughs> it is a rough life. Yeah, it's like I'm breathing into the mic. Dude. It's like, jeez. Trash is kind of making this back. You know what? I kind of miss. Well, I, I miss is uh doubles. Yeah, I I miss doubles too. <laughs> dude, doubles. Remember when we used to have doubles here? Remember when we did doubles? Remember here? when we would only reach uh, 20 entrance? <laughs> Yeah, that was good. Those are good times. We we had we had uh, less entrance, so we had uh, more time for. Uh, oh yeah, this is even. Yeah, this is this is really close right now. Oh, oh. Dude, uh, yeah, oh, I, I thought so it. too. Ooh. On jaw. On jaw. Well, Sabo takes game two. On get Q, man. He's almost about to three him. He's almost. He's one game away. He's he's fixing his hair. He's fidgeting his. And spiting his nails. Bad habits. Bad habits from Subba. <laughs> <laughs> we all have. No, just kidding, dude. I was, I was going ham on my nails today. Really? Like, I've never <laughs> gone like so ham on my nails. I I always carry a nail clipper on me in my car. That's good. That's good. Sometimes I'll, nails, I'll, I'll I'll look at myself and be like, bro, these these need to be clipped. I saw like a. I saw a video on Instagram. It was like some like girl. She's like, I got my nails done. Look how long my nails are. And then she's like, I have one problem. It's hard for me to wipe. My, my. When I, yeah. 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 <laughs> so don't trust a girl with like long nails because you know they can't. Yeah. They get the poopy. Yeah. They people. get they get all the bacteria on their on yeah, their nails. Disgusting. And then they don't want to wash it because it's their nails. Dude. Yeah. They're like, Ugh. that's gross. Do you think they use that to like? Get what it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> dude, no, dude. We're gonna be on like that weird beat smash part. I don't know. We're gonna be on some highlight. <laughs> yeah, let's that's, that's, uh, that's not talk about. <laughs> this is sunshine after hours. This is sun. This is. This is what this happens the, when you're hungry and you just. Yeah. You're just like, you know what? Like, I just want this tournament to be yeah, over. Yeah, already, I don't care who wins. It looks like someone's <laughs> gonna. Like. It looks like he's gonna reset bracket. Both players are pretty good right now. Ooh. <laughs> you know, I, but I, I, I like that they gave Mac the ability to, uh, like, uh, act out of side B, like mm -hmm. Ariel. Yeah, that was, that was a nice touch. Doesn't matter because you have one in the air. <laughs> if you get hit by that, you're basically dead. Like, I, I think it was a, a good addition to his recovery as well. Yeah. It's a little. It's it's definitely better than it was in Smash Four. Though it is gonna be better when that patch comes. When that what? When that patch comes. When that patch comes with uh with Joker. Yep. With just say on for Honestly, they might. I don't even know if they're gonna buff this character. Like they didn't even do anything the last patch. Pull back. They they nerfed K rule and that's it. <laughs> really? Yeah, they nerfed K rule for because he kept on winning elite smash stuff. Whoa, he is brave. He is brave and he died for it. Wow, I am. Wow, that was dumb. That I, was, I can't I believe really, that that. Uh, I'm really angry. I remember, wow. I remember seeing that in Smash Four, 
and with uh with Ike. 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 We could do in Smash Four too. That was the go-to. I like I like Max Pummel. It looks pretty hardcore. Yeah, looks imagine like imagine that. actually getting hit by that. Dude. Like in the stomach too. And you're just like, uh, you're, uh, you're my coughing appendix. out blood. <laughs> all, all, all fucking anime. Oh, what the heck? Missed follow up. You know, yeah, it's the beginning of the meta. We're gonna miss those follow ups sometimes. Uh, Alex keeps making oh fun God, of me because he's man. like, we're three months in and you still don't have a main. I'm like, bro, it's three months in. Like, like this is barely anything. Tactician's still here? What the heck? I thought he left a long ass time ago. Yeah, I thought he left with Ozzy. Oh not. my God. Is. It doesn't even. I forgot. Oh my. Whoa, dude. He, see how far he went? Dude, he, he slid. He leaped, dude. He leaped frog that. He was just moving. He's like on That's jaw. Nice. Y'all ever seen this? <laughs> Bracket reset. A lot of those games were pretty close. I just think that. Uh, Tetsuya was just like, short off the stick. Uh, it's bracket reset. Game one. No, it was game three. Game three, he 3 0'd him. <laughs> Tactician! Tactician! Ah. Tactician looks like. <laughs> Dark Tactician's a uh, big brain. He looks like. Uh, uh, what's that guy's name? Dark. Uh, the, the guy with the animals. The Australian? No, no, the black guy with the animals. Black guy with the animals? It was like a, a funny movie. Like they talk. Oh, uh, Dr. Doolittle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. I, I, I hope he doesn't rewatch this set. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> no, I, I love Tactician. You're like my top three best friends. The other two is like. John. I'm just kidding. John? <laughs> just random people. <laughs> John. <laughs> Jose. Jose. Uh, and, yeah, <laughs> number one. <laughs> no, no, it's, it, number two, get kill me. And then number one, just said on Floyd. <laughs> Look at me too. <laughs> <laughs> number three, just said's mom. <laughs> selling his merch. <laughs> That's messed up. Yeah, I felt bad. Like, should I feel bad for him? He kind of beat up his, like... Girlfriend? Yeah. Honestly, it's satire. Yeah, so it's whatever. Like, I shouldn't feel bad if it's satire. There's worse things. Not as worse as his matchup. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to the match. Going back to the match. Now we're at game. Actually, well, I don't know. Like, I bet you if I talk to the top Roy's, they'd just be like, oh yeah, Roy destroys Mac. But, like, uh, Tetsuya makes us look even, to be honest. Oh. Wow, he's not dead. Oh, okay. Never mind. Commentate his curse. Yeah. That <laughs> backfired on you. You know what? I'm gonna commentate his curse. He's not gonna get hit by KO Punch. <laughs> what? Why did I say that? Oh my god. As soon as I say it, dude. I know. <laughs> Jesus. That was I was actually kinda that was brutal dude, what the heck? He did like angle down smash. I did 30%. Yeah. I mean not down smash, F smash. And then just the tech chase. And that was nice. <laughs> that was clean. That was clean. <laughs> but that was just game one, you know, uh Subba has a lot to work with, so <gasps> Oh my god, he's gonna go Roy. Wow, okay, he's going. <laughs> oh my um, god. I just wanted to hype it up for no reason. <laughs> Wait, is this on stream or is this recording? No, it's on stream. It's not recording. It hasn't been like nobody's been recording anything the whole time. Uh, I want to see if anyone's. Haha, <laughs> KO. <laughs> Wait, no. Haha, <laughs> okay punch. Okay punch. Okay punch. <laughs> Actually, let's, let's call it that from now on. Okay yeah, punch. Yeah, I, I gotta clip that. Do I love commentating like this where you just don't give a fuck? <laughs> It's a lot chill than like when I'm like 
basically analyzing the game. Like, my commentating is, like, basically just me analyzing the game. And it's, it's just so bad. Oh, wow. Okay, he's not dead. Isn't that what we need, though? Yeah. I guess. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly? Honestly? I I'm not even mad. What do they expect from us? Do we even... Is anybody watching? Dude, why is Jaleda in the chat? I know, he's, he's here. He's literally here. He's here. <laughs> Let's go, Luis. Let's go, Luis. Instead of, like, Luis. he's in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> he's taking a huge Colorado. He's, ta dude, he's <laughs> taking a massive Colorado, dude. Why'd you guys start saying that? Because Lord King and his dumb memes. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Good memes. They're pretty good memes. I like the Stronghold one. The strong. Oh, let's go Stronghold. Oh, yeah. Fuck hey, my bitch. Oh. Dude. I said, dude. Alright, that's nice. <laughs> oh, the ISIS? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, I thought the stronghold, the, the, the fuck my bitch one. The what? The, the I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, how do we, how do we esports? Uh, oh, uh, screw my bitch. I mean, damn it. <laughs> suck my, suck, uh, uh, screw my, my dish? screw my, screw my female dog. There you go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Colorado. <laughs> Massive Colorado. Dude. Oh, dude, he could die. He's at, oh, never mind. I was about to be like, he's at 69. It's over. Uh, I commentated Curse. Watch. He's going to make it back on stage. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> oh, wait. No. No. Psych. Just he is me, just not going to make it back on ledge, stage. Man. Wow, he made it back on stage. It's amazing what commentators Curse can do. Subba is not going to get zero to death. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no, that one's too ri that one's, that one's reachy. That one's asking, that's, that's wishful thinking. There's like only amount, there's only <laughs> like a few like, black magic I could use when, <laughs> when it comes to commentating. Oh. Oh my god, dude, the wet noodle. Wet noodle was that, enough. That, I call that, dude, that's the Campbell noodle soup right there, dude. Yeah, <laughs> Campbell's <Yeah>. noodles. <laughs> When you're like eating it with a spoon and it like just keeps on falling. You know, I, I haven't had any Campbell's. Yeah, it's been a while. I've had I've had a uh, Chef Boyardee. Yeah, that, that it's been a while since I had that. I love ravioli. Yeah, like the ravioli. I love yeah. it. I love ravioli. It's so good. I've had a uh, beef stuffed ravioli. Mm -hmm. I've had a uh, cheese stuffed Dude, ravioli. you know which one I? You know what I can't eat? I can't eat the spaghetti of that. That thing is so <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> oh man, big damage. Oh dude, he has kill punch. Oh my god, oh dude, I thought he was gonna do it right there. Dude, oh, he, dude he's gone in a parry kill. Dude, he has, a, he has okay punch. He has okay punch. <laughs> dude, okay, oh! oh! Wow, isn't it funny if you miss it, you die? Wow. <laughs> if you miss it, you die. That shouldn't be a thing, right? <laughs> you should yeah. have no lag. <laughs> Wow, it's 1-1. One, one. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that these two players that go back and forth would be in a Game 3 situation where it's 1-1? One, one. Everyone. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes to Game 5. Yeah, me either. I wouldn't be surprised if Game 5 was like someone botting someone. Yeah. Because at that point, they were like, you know, glasses push. Oh, downloaded. Queen. Dude, against like. 15, like, clutched it out. Well, I don't know if he clutched it out. I kind of just, like, messed up game two. Yeah. And in game three, I was like, alright, stay calm. Don't freak out. And then the game started. <laughs> and I was, like, freaking out. And I was, like, doing a lot of, like, bad, like, aerials. I was like, what am I doing? I'm gonna lose this set if I keep on playing bad. But then, nah, nah, that's good. I, I beat him somehow. Let's go. Let's go, DK. This DK is hella good. I was actually shook. Dude, ah. Uh, okay, he did like the cargo throw. Yeah. And then the back throw to like, uh, stage spike me, right? But that, I'm smart, alright? I tech that stuff. Yeah. Next time he does it, I. <laughs> He tries to do the same thing, right? Yeah. But I mash out oh. before he does it, and I buffer air dodge. Damn. I, why did I think? Why did I mash out? <laughs> like, it's whatever. I you, can't believe a 15 beat A1. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. That was crazy. 
Dude, I was, I was like, I, I've been practicing wolf or snake. I'm ready to fight A1 again. And he doesn't even. <laughs> you don't even need him in bracket. bracket. <laughs> I used wolf against Prime, and like, I played super like scared like last talk, and it just messed me up. Cause what the heck is Samus, dude? I don't even know what Samus. Is. <sighs> Samus is weird. But you know what else is weird? This matchup, <laughs> like, Lil Mac is up a stock because of that KO punch. Dude, I thought he was getting down here. Hm? Oh shit! Oh sh dude, 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 no! Chill. My bad. Bug. Dude, now they have a John. <laughs> A, vi a viable John. <laughs> a viable. I remember like this happened before. Oh, that was good. That was a good cross. Don't say it for a minute. No, this is a. Uh, this is esports. Yeah, we are actually like we not rate. Uh, game, game three. three. Yeah. Yeah. On jaw. On jaw, said on. On, on get kill me. <laughs> I have a funny. Uh, hold on, let me, let me see if I can find it. <laughs> oh, nice counter. This could be anyone's game. That's scary. What is that? That's uh, Billy, uh, Billy Eyelash. Eyelash? <laughs> eyelash. <laughs> he takes it. Takes game three. Game four. So I was gonna think of something. Wolf time. Okay. I don't know. He doesn't like to use Wolf anymore. I think Wolf does like pretty good against Little Mac. To be honest. That like F till and down to smash is like pretty nuts against his up B. Nah, he's gonna say wood. Dude, I'm definitely gonna be a Joker main. Like, I gotta retell. He's busted. Joker? I'm, yeah, watch. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat someone, and then they're gonna say I have no skill. And it's probably <laughs> gonna be true, because it's, it's Cause broken DLC. DLC will always... Like, I'm calling it. <laughs> <laughs> you should kill... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, dude? Dude, they got there isn't a comment like a commentator's cam. I know. Uh, <laughs> or like they would see our hands and we're just like yo. <laughs> yo, dude. <laughs> what was I gonna show you? Oh yeah, I was gonna show you a uh, picture. <laughs> you saw this one, right? Oh yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> For, uh, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Put it like on front of the like player cam. Imagine. <laughs> Rob with teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Rob with teeth. Oh, oh yeah, it's yeah, it's so cursed. How does he even have teeth? Like, like, what do they do to him? I don't know. <laughs> That's my favorite one. Oh my god. <laughs> the all my uh. <laughs> <laughs> my half beat in me. Uh, you know what? You know what is the half beat in me? This little Mac, cause he's taking so much percent right now. He's gonna have to bring this back. Oh, that's it. <laughs> wow, that was clean. Oh, Jetbacker. Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, I hate Jetbacker. No, I don't. I actually think it's pretty cool. But that's our team name. That's your team name, Jabbacker? <laughs> yeah. No, I hate Jabbacker. Oh, oh, like, remember, it used to be I hate four throw bouncing fish? For you. <laughs> now that I hated. I hated 50 fish. Seven, seven negro. Dude, the, the Shrek one, dude. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that gonna be it? No, no. not yet. Yeah, time to see. If it was Smash Four, it would have been it. Dude, this is this is definitely Sella's game to take. Commentator's curse, dude. <laughs> nah, commentator's blessing. He's gonna take this. Commentator's game. blessing. Yeah. Oh no, dude. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No, oh, I, <laughs> okay. Uh, now it's not as even as it was. Now that OK punch is out. Yeah. <laughs> OK punch. Yeah, Becker's brain dead. Yeah, it's Colorado. Oh, it's it's, it's kind of hard. <laughs> kind of hard to do it. Kind of. Becker's Colorado. <laughs> wow, look. That looked like Smash Four knockback where he was like going slow. Yeah. 
Damn, what I tell you? Game, game five. five. Someone, someone's about to screw up. Someone now, is gonna. Is gonna be. <laughs> Yo, watch. It's, it's gonna be like. Stuff gonna go Lucina. <laughs> it's gonna keep on giving me jokes. <laughs> the most random is Lucina. Nah. Who is that? I don't know. Who is uh, uh, I don't know. I feel like that's K like Abila. that's like that's one of the that's one of the Nova brothers. I think <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the Novas. It's definitely one of the Nova's brothers. I know it's one of them. I think, Why aren't they here? I, the I think it, I think it might be. Yeah, because it's Peter, and then it's Kevin. Yeah. And then it's. I think it's Shark. Weenie. It's probably super. Shark Weenie, dude. I thought I, when he first told me his tag, I thought he said Shark. Weenie. Shark. Weenie. I was like, damn, dude, you must destroy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it is. Is my prediction right? Oh wait, nah. I bet you this is just gonna go even. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> Gay silence. <laughs> Bro, where's Electro? Is he still in the chat? Bro, that's cool. Grand Finals exam set two. <laughs> I just realized he's still there. Oh, well, set two. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the first one was a midterm, and then this one is the final. Exam. Yeah, we should have we should have done that. This is so even. Actually, I don't know. I feel like Josh is more in the lead more because like he could just take the stock and then KO punch. Oh my god! Actually, I don't know. I feel like I don't see like many KO punch killing until like forty percent. I concur. They really nerfed the hell of that move. Or just Lil Mac in general. Why they nerf Lil Mac? I have no idea. It's because you know what? They're they're watching uh our Smash 4 bots. And they're like, yo, yo, down this, still to up B. This broke. This Tetsuya Hyper Omega Log guy. Damn. I, Damn, son. We gotta we gotta tone this character down. I would I would have slammed my fist, but honestly, it's connected to this. Mm, I don't know if Lil Mac was unchanged. He'd he'd be nuts, kind of. Unchained. Unchained. No, little Mac unchained. Oh, that was. Uh, if he had gotten yeah, a kill yeah. from that, that would have been like. You thought he was gonna go for side B? Yeah. I no, thought, I, I thought the S match was gonna hit. Wow, that was. <laughs> oh, my god. oh my god! What the heck? Oh. He was like, he was oh. like, ah, I'm just gonna do it. Oh you my know, word! You only get one air dodge. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You oh better lose yourself. Oh, no. Oh, oh, Jose. He's dead. Oh, no. I don't know why he's dead. <laughs> Rip counter. Counter goes through. Or, this doesn't even matter if it countered it because it would just went through. Wow. He won. Lil Mac won. And Lil Mac won. Mr. Tetsuya Hyper Omega Law taking. It's on that setup. So, uh, what do you think about this tournament? Oh, yes! Yes! Take out the Switch! Can we do that? Yes, sir. <laughs> are we, we gonna have to set the Mies on here? Yeah, we're gonna have to yeah, set the Mies on here. Dude, are they commenting? Yeah, dude, I was, about to, I was about to take the. Oh, I was about to stop the streaming, but no, everybody needs to see this. Everybody everyone needs, needs to, to see, see this. Everyone stay. Everyone the needs to see The tournament is how, not over yet. How we decide where we go eat tournament. after Wait, the hey, tournament. Wait, are you Didus? Yeah, Ditus. Are you in the cloud discord? The cloud discord? No? Oh, never mind. There's like someone named Ditus, and I thought that was you. <laughs> Dude, he got here at the wrong time. Yo, Coca-Cola versus Dr. Pepper. <laughs> did I just go Yeah, he did. Yeah. His life. You're right there. Yeah, dude. Are you part of the witness protection program? <laughs> Are you part of the witness protection? <laughs> dude, look at my case. Dude, get cool. <laughs> get cool, man. Uh, I don't know, like, probably like two people. Four? Where? Right here. Four? Four people. Oh, four. Yo, four people watching. Let's let's go. I lost the tab. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. I lost the tab. Oh, here it is. You lost okay. the tactician? No, no, I got it. I got... There we go, I got it back. Anja. Anja said. Anja said. I have no main follow you. What the fuck? Um, 
gems. I have no main. Followed you. <laughs> That's me. Who DM'd me? Oh, I have a message request. Alright, guys. Just hold on one. What? This guy wants moment. to follow We're back. Get the mees. No, dude. I don't know you. But this guy like, seems cool, so I'm just gonna follow him. He seems funny. Why does it still say I have a message request? No, this is bothering me, the notification. It says I have a message request even though I checked and I don't have a message request and it's just bothering me because the little one on the notifications there. Yo, put Applebee's in there. I'm craving some. Put Denny's in there. I want Denny's. <laughs> Die in sleep. What goes my the heck? Who is this? PB and J died. Yo, what is it? Is it foodie? What is this? I thought we were doing foodie. No, we need to do the me's. Yo, Denny's bear be on there. Adrian, are we doing the me the me's there? Okay, he's gonna bring it over. Alright, hurry up. Better not be timing yourselves, guys, out. This Green Ranger, like, is he projectile base? Oh, he definitely looks like a Rush Pound character. Yo, what is this? this is this Dragon Ball? <laughs> There's three characters. Dude, this is Marvel. Marvel, baby. Really? On jaw? And you're playing with the game controller too. Yo, this looks this looks clean. This looks like a mod, like like a like a I don't know like a a mod for a, this is Power Rangers, dude. All right, let's see Red Red Ranger. Oh, dude, he's rushing him down, him with a quick jab, he's trying to follow him up jumps above oh I don't know what that move does I don't know what that does but he's getting combos he's smacking him yo yo he yo what is what is happening yo he needs an anti-air red ranger going in red red ranger going in dude yo he's getting trashed oh my god he is in the corner he is getting bodied dude Tetsuya Hyper Omega Lock confirmed a fraud I call out oh what is that dude like how does he how does he power up his super so fast? Look how fast that, dude, look how fast that super powers up. Oh my god. Is that Red Ranger again? Yeah, they're both Red Ranger, but uh, different skins. You know what that second the red and black one reminds me of? Uh, you ever watched uh Time Force? The the Power Rangers Time Force? Nah. Dude, he's going in. Oh let me let me get the me squad. Alright, Josh is Josh is getting used to it. I don't know what character that is, but the Dark Knight, I'm gonna call him the Dark Knight. Cause he looks like the Dark Knight from Fire Emblem. Dude, what the dude, what is these wolf jabs? They're like PS2? PS2? Um uh, Yeah, PS2. Dude, add Denny's in there. Denny's? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say Would anyone go? Jesus. Yo, is there music in this game? I don't hear anything, dude. Yeah, I don't hear anything. Dude. What the heck was that? Bro. Oh my god. Enrique going in. 
Dude, what, what the hell kind of me is that? G? G? What a, delete. Delete, that, delete that shit, son. Nobody makes me except me. I am. Is that your switch? No, it's Alex's. Alex. What the fuck is, is that like the arm switch? I think so. I've never seen that like color of Joy Con. Oh my god, this this could be it! This is it! That was <laughs> oh, this is it! This is it! I don't know what's happening, I can't even see the bars. The White the Ranger going in. I can't even see their health bars. What is that? He is he is down. I right, GG's back it up. <laughs> no, not singles. Sorry. I didn't mean to scream into the mic. Dude, my like my fucking ass is like dying right now for some reason. Hey, I stand up. Not in these pants. Yo, did Alex eat that pizza? Was that pizza all for him? Oh okay. Understandable. That was a nice day. Nice like, day. I see that crust, dude, and I'm like, okay. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> Is that you? Oh, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> What's going on? Set up the me's. All right, guys, you're about to see the best thing ever. This is how we decide food hours. All right. Oh, you're good. Uh, and then can you put PS2? Mike! Oh, we're good. Oh, yeah. Has anyone told you you're so handsome? Thank you. Has anyone told you you're so handsome? Oh, this is, this is weird. What the hell? Has anyone told you you're so handsome? Really? Dude, tactician, dude. Dude, tactician's so handsome. Look, hermoso. Tactician. <laughs> Don't shake your head! Why are you shaking your head? Oh. <laughs> fucking Adrian's head ass on the fucking camera. Which one is that one? I can't. I can't tell. Can I. How do I remove the camera? No, I mean like. Like on screen. So. Oh, where it says cam and look where the eye is and click on the eye. Alright, alright, we good, we good. Let's go. Alright, Mr. Tetsuya Hyper Omega Low versus Sin Six the Baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Alright, alright, all right. let's go, guys. Woo, yeah. So we have Denny's, Village Inn, Wada, IHOP, and Mickey D's. Now, Mickey D's. Dude. In this set, all characters are gonna have two stocks and. Smash meter. We had IHOP after glitch last time, so I hope IHOP doesn't win. And we had we had Wada a lot of times. Wait, wait, you guys had IHOP this past uh, mini glitch? But yeah, that's a glitch. Do you want to take that off or not? Nah? I, I think we should. On jaw. On jaw. All right. Hey, we're taking off IHOP. IHOP's getting taken off. We're taking off IHOP because we had IHOP at glitch. Wait, wait, you didn't take off IHOP. Oh wait, there you go. Yeah, I don't want to make these. I want somewhere like where I can like sit down and like chill. Yo, Josh. How do you? Okay. Guys, I, I was like, what the fuck? Curse, you guys hardcore. Oh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, let's go. We got it. Two stocks apiece. Dude, there's, dude, I don't know which one's which. Dude, they're like, no, just, they're, not. they're just slapping each other. Oh my god. What? Dude, what dude are in all the first these 10 seconds, they were all hitting each other with freaking shot put. Dude, I love it when they go off stage. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, here it is. Ah, shit, not again. Oh. Oh my god. Dude, it's always. Oh my it's god, he's dead. Like this. Oh. Dude, Mc McDonald's died. Rest in peace, McDonald's. And then, dude. They keep on going back. We don't need fucking three stock. 
Three stock takes. Three stock takes forever. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, dude. McDonald's is. McDonald's is. Dude, Denny's almost has a final smash. Dude, Mc if he lives, oh, okay. dude, dude, Denny's take, getting his first stock out of here. How the fuck does Denny's almost have oh his first stock? Oh my god, McDonald's? McDonald's just SD. McDonald's is right, like, you know yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy. Er er McDonald's, McDonald's is like, everybody's cheering against me, yeah, screw this. Oh my oh. god! Oh. 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 It's happening! Okay, it's even game. Okay, why does that end? <laughs> yeah, it's an even game. Let's go, Denny's! No, I don't oh. want Wado to win! Oh, oh let's go! Oh. Alright, let's go, let's go! Let's go! Dude, what the fuck is No, he's not dead, he's not dead. I know he's not dead. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. He got both of them! No, dude. Okay, so Denny's, dude, Denny's, Denny's is dead. Denny's is done. Denny's is Denny's dead. Is oh my god, dead. it's even. Alright, so Village and Water. I really don't want Water Burger. And he even has Water Burger so much. In between these oh two. my god, he went for it. He went for it all. No, no he died! Oh my god. The down smash down here! Do something. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Okay. Alright, so. right, right, neutral. What the fuck is that? What, what kind of neutral oh is that god. shit? Dude, I thought these levels nice people use were based off AMSA. Oh my god, the heaviest read. Come on, Village in. He's trying to get the stage spike. With that up dude, he's trying to. Oh, oh, dude, oh, oh, come on! Dude. Oh my god! Oh my god! No! Oh my god! What the? Fuck is that? Oh! oh my god. God. All right, what kills right now? Oh, back here, back here, right? Oh yeah, no jump! Oh my god! Yeah, no jump! Oh, I'm feeling it. Yeah. All right, best of five. <laughs> And Village Inn is where we'll be going to eat tonight. Alright, thank you everybody for tuning in and uh, have Take a good care, night. Take care guys, that was a really fun tournament. I'm super happy that Josh killed Seba at 30%. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> and I'm super happy Alex beat me for like fifth time. That's really cool. Good job on him. Alright, bye guys.